What's going on guys and welcome back to another spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump without the pump. I am the rock uh, that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. It's your boy T. B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back guys to another read through of the spectacular Ippo Hajime no Ippo. Today we're gonna be starting at oh, chapter shit. 592. It's been a while since I did one of these. So thank you guys for waiting, first of all. Um but the last fight man the last fight i have to say it's it's definitely the um it's up there it's up there a lot of people um wouldn't think that this is you know ippo's best fight um to me to me it is to me it's one of ippo's best fight if we're gonna go to say what's the best fight in the anime it's a whole different story but overall story i think this is definitely Ippo's best fight and I'm tell you guys why I believe so because it's the first fight that he's actually dominated in he never dominated not even the fight with um with his is um the guy that looked up to him I can't even remember his name right now um I you know sometimes I really do have a problem remembering people who aren't frequent in series so it's like so yeah, you guys know who I'm talking about. The guy that he, you know, that looked up to him, as senpai, not the one that's there currently now, not Itagaki. I'm talking about the other dude that, you know, he shaved his head. We didn't recognize him at first, but he went at Ippo. In a way, Ippo, Ippo dominated, but not like this, man. Like this fight was just like Ippo showed off everything that that he's learned and did not even have to use um the Dempsey role so I definitely give him props for that um if you're talking about like overall brawl I wouldn't say this is number one but the reason why I I, I hold it in such high regard is because of how he dominated this fight without using his quote-unquote trump card if you want to call it that special move whatever you want to call the Dempsey role um you know more exciting fights yes has happened in my opinion but this one just really takes the cake for me i prefer to see ippo dominate like this like you love to see a boxer go into the ring and just dominate that's what i like to see i i you know what i'm saying like some people like the brawls they like the back and forth they want to see you know one fighter go down or both fighters go down simultaneous it makes this makes the fight more exciting make it seems like you did not waste your money like you know what i'm saying like just the other day if you guys watch the ufc conor mcgregor not the guy out in 40 seconds like do you feel like you get your money's worth some people i felt like i did <laughs> most people probably say man i wish the fight would have been longer you know what i'm saying but that's the thing about fighting fighting is probably the only sport that you can end in 40 seconds you know so that's just what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i mean so um so that's what's so exciting about it for me like i felt like i got my money's worth out of that fight so because i wanted to see connor win so because i want to see him get back to that former glory you know what i'm saying um he's been through a whole bunch of stuff so you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, he just needs to get back in the ring, man. I'm glad they gave him another chance to do that. So, um, for so that's what I'm saying when it comes to this. Like, I want to see fights that a fighter is completely dominating another fighter. I love to see that over brawls. You get what I'm saying? Like, brawls are exciting too, don't get me wrong. Um, it's more of like a 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10 situation where it's not like i don't like brawls but i prefer when a fighter is in the ring and he's dominating the other boxer or whatever the situation is so let's go find out what is the aftermath of this fight how are they going to talk about it and what's coming up next i don't know how many how many chapters i'm going to be able to do i'm gonna try to do about 10 
if we get to more than that because these chapters are short they're not like berserk so let's jump into it and see what they have to offer us today so let's switch over let's go all right so we got um ippo here all right let's see if i can switch this all right all right so round 592 what do you realize later so everybody's coming out of the arena right it said the shima the the bukuro and sour morifies dragged on for a while so i thought this one would take a long time too that's what i'm saying like Anybody who watches Ippo fights on a regular basis should know by now his fights usually go for long times, you know, in our time, in our time, not necessarily for, not necessarily for, um, for their time. Cause sometimes, you know, Ippo has, has some first round knockouts. So in our time, it seems like the fights are taking forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when we was watching the anime, the anime, sometimes fights would go for five, four or five episodes. It's crazy. So we, you know, for a reason, it just felt long. So we keep going here. Wow. That Makana Uchi really has quite a punch. Yes, he does. All right. So we got, he <laughs> he. So we got Itagaki and, and Takamura outside talking. Said, what are you fucking grinning for? Well, when I hear the crowd being so excited, it makes me feel really good. Says Itagaki. Takamura says, you had nothing to do with it. Don't get so happy. The guy's like, if I feel good, I feel good. <laughs> Takamura says to him, you'll feel bad soon enough. <laughs> huh? Consider, for example, if post fighting starts today, pile the pressure on, chase him onto the ropes, and then put him out of his misery with one punch, it's particularly effective against outboxers. Meaning, meaning against you too. <laughs> yeah, because he must have forgot that he's in the same, um, the same weight class. It's like, your opponent... For the rookie championships, Imai, he's a fighter. T he's a fighter type, right? It's highly likely he watched this match too. Next time, it'll be your turn to fall prey to this. Takamura not being encouraging right now. Itagaki says, "I'll get away. I'll keep using my feet." <laughs> Takamura says, "You get caught on the ropes, <laughs> huh?" <laughs> It won't give him a break. He said, you'll be rolling twice for your, for you'll be rolling twice for your down. <laughs> he said, how it back like this and this. <laughs> now, now, that's enough for one day, Kimura. The Ippo's interview is going to take a while. We should head back before it gets crowded. Hmm? Yeah. Huh? One person's missing. Ah, we left Haoki behind. He must still be in the toilet. <laughs> oh yeah, because Takamura had given them that <laughs> um that um thing. As uh, souvenir sweets or whatever. Is that like, hey, the lowest peon should go get him. Hey <laughs> me? Okay, okay. <laughs> it's like the elevators are packed crap i'll have to climb up to the fifth floor but i feel so bad for aoki-san senpai's match ended in two rounds so he missed it all it's all takamura-san's fault oh no <laughs> oh god so he sees a guy he's about to fight it's like yo manabu we seem to meet a lot at kuraku and all like, it's my senpai's match. Of course I'd be here. What about you? I say, of course I'd be here too. First of all, the man who is my goal is having a match. <laughs> First of all, you said, when I win the All Japan Rookie Championship, I'll be ranked 10th. 
I'll have the right to challenge the champion. I'll take the shortest route and challenge that man. Zagai will stop you for sure, says Itagaki. You saw what happened in today's match, didn't you? It will be a good reference for me against you. It will be a good reference for me too. You'll be the one crawling on the mat. He looks at Itagaki he's like, you don't look very good at all. Your cheekbones are showing failed weight control. Pretty big talk for someone in such a condition. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, it's because of the squid. <laughs> the squid that Takamura gave him. So Imai says, if you happen to beat me, what do you plan to do? What do you see ahead of you? I want to test my own power. I want to fight a strong champion. That's why I chose a different gym from Makanouchi Ippo. It's like, what are you trying to say? You, you chose to be stuck under Makanouchi-san. You don't want to fight him. We two are looking at different things. That difference will come out in our match. If you keep winning and you get stronger, a time will come when you want to test that power. What will you do at that time? It says, shall we make a bet? It's like a bet. If you win, I'll do anything you say. And if I win, I'll be winning anyway. So say whatever you want. Um, Hurry up and spit it out. Ah, what is it? I noticed someone back in our high school days. She was always in the cheering section. When I found out she was my opponent's sister, I was shocked. He's like, you don't mean. I know it's an unusual request, but. <laughs> he grabs him. He's like, you want me to introduce you to Nanako? And he's like, you're the only one I can ask. He's like, you're pissing me off. Bringing such a thing into our match. He's like, I'm serious. I really mean what I'm saying. He's like, shut the hell up. Don't fight. Oh my God. What is going on with Aoki? What is wrong with him? <laughs> what is wrong with Aoki right now? He's like, if you have a problem, tell it all to Broccoli, man. Did he come out here with his pants down? <laughs> Bruh, pull your pants up, man. He's like, he's like, what's wrong with you? You look like a mummy. I think I passed out all my bodily fluids. <laughs> he's like, so, did Ippo win? <laughs> he's like, yes. He's like, you're lucky you belong to such a fun gym. Uh, wait, Kiyosuke. Anyways. Please remember what I said. Remember, you said you'd do whatever I said. I'll make you apologize on your hands and knees. Don't shout, it rings my stomach and anus. Oh my god. Shut up already. <laughs> Poor Aoki, man. Oh my god. He's like, did you see Aoki and Itagaki? No, I didn't. My, this is really unusual. He's like, huh? You're coming out of a match with no injuries. I was <laughs> like, I was just lucky, right? <laughs> you, you, you thought about you just lucky. You just dominated the match. For the first time, he's actually coming out of a match without an injury. And that's crazy. It's like you easily cleared the match. Everyone thought you'd win. huh? You've become the real thing, haven't you? And he's like, no, not at all. I'm still not there yet. That's right. You're not there yet, says the coach. It's like, even though the left was your focus, there were too many restraining jabs. That's why your opponent could slip away. Hippo says, yes. Today, your opponent's head was filled with the Dempsey roll. Because he was expecting it, it distracted and put pressure on him. 
but if he'd known from the start it wasn't coming, the match would have lasted longer. Like, yo, you had many chance, chances to use it. Why did you seal it away? Takamura is asking him. The damn zero. Because I know it's shortening my career. And then there's the Dempsey Breaker. It's no longer a decisive factor. The more I use it, the more I get hit and damage my body hurts more and more. I could feel for myself that my boxing life was getting shorter. I want to keep boxing for a long time for the matches that are ahead of me. Takamura says, so you wanted to see if you could box without the Dempsey, huh? It's like, I wasn't looking down on Karazawa-san. It's just that I want to be perfect. The basics of every single punch so that I can keep fighting on. I thought it would help me build confidence. Kimura says, well, well. Even if you don't use the Dempsey, the fact that it's there creates pressure. If you use it as a feint, you'd have even more options. Ippo says, huh? I see. So I could do that too. Using the Dempsey as a feint. Like this. What? You're doing it now? <laughs> he just finished the match. He really is addicted to training. That's one of his good points, says the coach. You'll realize later, if you level up every single one of the basics and use them over and over again, the Dempsey roll will naturally grow stronger. You will realize that your finishing blow has been reborn without you even knowing it. When you take the seal off. Hey, we're leaving. Wait up, please. Jeez, Aoki-san, it's already dark outside. Yo, this dude is still in the toilet, bro. He is still in the toilet. All right. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you from Las Vegas. A match between two outstanding talents aiming for the world championship. The IBF World Junior Lightweight fourth ranker Eric Thompson against the sixth ranker Vorg Zangief. Okay, so we finally get to see Vorg again. Pretty cool. I don't mind. Okay, so he's fast. They're equal in offense. Yeah. No. <laughs> ah, he got hit. Vorg got hit. That Vorg is Vorg is losing in terms of speed. Incredible. Ah, that's dangerous. Get away. Regroup. It's incredible. The world's top class. The world's top class. He changed to infighting. Go for it, Vorksan. That left. Can it get through? Ooh. Vork is going in right now. He hit him with the left. With a left hook to the body. Then he hit him with another left to the body. He's like, whoa. What an amazing chase. Can he get him? It's like he's protecting his body. Oh. Bruh. Ah, oh, he hit him. It's like, all right. I can't tear my eyes away as always. It's like he's strong. This is for coach talking to him. He's wrong. This feels really good. That someone we know is doing so well. He's like, senpai. It's like he couldn't breathe. He wasn't taking a breath. He's like, are you okay? He's like, I got so nervous I couldn't even breathe. Instead of KO victory, it was a close fight in the middle rounds. Yeah. The world title level is amazing. And Vorksan. It's truly amazing being able to keep fighting in foreign lands. Doesn't he inspire you? Please look at this month's WBC rank, WBC world rankings. You're ranked 12th. 12th? Really? It's like, it's true. Be a little more excited about it. You can even start thinking about a world challenge. Ippo says, no, that's beyond me. 
right now. And even if it's not written here, there have got to be lots of strong fighters out there. But Vorg lost to you, but he's doing well on the world scene. In our more recent spar, he knocked me out completely. That was, and when I sparred with Ricardo, I lost consciousness. I felt the power of the world with my own body, so I won't talk big. Is that, are you saying you've never thought of challenging the world? You've never imagined yourself with the world title belt around your waist? Is that a world title belt? Um, <laughs> Tagaki is like, I guess he hasn't. <laughs> it's like, anyway, when I watched Vorg's match, I kept thinking, I really envy boxer types. Huh? Envy? They can box from far away, and when necessary, they can twitch. They can switch to infighting. They have a lot of options in their fight methods. When it comes to fighting, having a lot of options can be the key to victory. Tagaki's thinking now, he's like, Senpai is a true infighter. He has no choice but to stick to his opponent and fight. Even though the Karasara match, match looked easy, he said he was desperate. Senpai might look strong, but even he has a complex. Even he has a complex. huh? More importantly, your next match, Manabukun. The finals of the East Japan Rookie Championship are almost there. He's like, I'm going to win. What a spirited response. I'm only thinking about a KO. It's definitely win the championship. That's how it has to be. I'll knock him out and win. And finally put an end to our high school rivalry. Rivalry. Didn't he beat you three times by KO? <laughs> He already put an end to it long ago, didn't he? That that was in our amateur days. This is our first match as pros. It will happen again. I've got a feeling. <laughs> Man, they're surely not encouraging Itagaki at all. So, it's like, are you guys my enemies? <laughs> it's like, why are you talking like that? Because in the million to one chance that you win... We'll lose big. <laughs> so they bet on him. He's like, lose big? What do you mean? We'll have to pay this guy. So. <laughs> He's like, you bet on me? I'm so sorry. I got carried away, but I bet on Manabukun. So I'll make you guys lose big. I'll make you regret not betting on me. That's the spirit. Aoki-san, win Itagaki. Make those devils penniless. <laughs> it's Aoki. Aoki came in and he's like, yo, these guys are evil. <laughs> he's like, didn't you bet on Makino that other time? That's because you forced me to. It's like, thank goodness Ippo didn't eat any you... Um, any you fed any didn't eat any you fed us poison disguised as delicacy everything you do lacks delicacy i don't care whether we're gym mates or you're world champion i want nothing to do with you anymore what did you say things are not going to go the way you want anymore from now on kamagawa gym is splitting into two factions. Oh my god. Not you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Everything will be decided by a majority vote. From the start, you have few people on your side. You it's like, hey you guys, practicing. Think carefully. Decide which side to belong to. Huh? No opportunists with yo opportunists. Which side will you pick, opportunist? <laughs> you better come over to our side quickly. I don't know anything about a two-time world champion, but this Brocco man has all the children in the country as his friends, you know. <laughs> Kimura is sweating. He's like, hmm, there's strength in numbers for the present. 
No, he left Takamura over there. Takamura's like, you bastard. You're leaving me alone? <laughs> He's like, you'll be sorry. <laughs> He's like, don't. Aoki's like, don't waver. Come on, Kimura. They're trying to get Kimura to come on. He's like, <laughs> dude comes out like, hey, have you guys seen the news? He's like, news? Children all over the country are tired of Brocco Man. He's like, what? They've thrown a lot of dolls into... And the games are flooding. Damn, they throw away all the dolls in the drain and stuff. And the games are flooding into, into secondhand stores. Because the image of Broccoli is down. The commercial has been pulled off the air. Why? It's like... Booms are really scary things, aren't they? Do you know anything about it? He's like, no, I haven't done anything. There seems to be a bad rumor going around town that you were seen in the Korokin all toilet covered in shit. <laughs> it's like, why? That happened just recently. How could everyone know? Around town? Did someone tell him? Takamura? <laughs> it's probably Takamura. He's like, looks like my grassroots activities have finally borne fruit. <laughs> Takamura is evil, bro. He's like, you bastard. What were you doing on that trip of yours? Lots of stuff. You bastard. I'll destroy you with my faction. Our position seems to be reversed. You are already... All alone. Everybody switch sides. <laughs> oh my god. He's like, it's partly his fault for getting arrogant because of Bronco Man's popularity. Even so, this is just too unlucky. Okay, next chapter. Alright, so Bronco Man, his legacy is over. All right, the Rookie King Championship is but a stepping stone towards my goal, the Japanese title. The person who will be the heir to the title that my senpai holds is me. All eyes are focused on these two for this year's East Japan Rookie Kings. Across all of the weight classes, they've got the most skill and potential by far. Well then. Any predictions? Uh, girl says, I say it's 8 to 2 in Imai Kiyosuke's favor. Like, Me too. Same here. Those aren't interesting odds. Well, Itagaki was never able to beat Imai in their amateur days. I'm sure it'll be interesting to watch and all, but Imai's boxing has scaled up quite a bit since he's become a pro. Fujisan, what's your take on it? Hmm. Like I said, the odds aren't too good. Ironically, his senpai Makarauchi demonstrated how to bring down an outboxer just a few days ago. Even if he fights using a greater number of punches and speed like we expect he will, it can all be for naught against a power fighter with a one-hit KO punch. I'm sure Itagaki realized it himself when he watched Karasawa defeated so helplessly. Although he would have been cheering for Makarauchi kun at the moment, the results of the match should have still given him quite the shock. Right now, I bet you he's thinking that. He can't do it. Phew. So they're trading. Okay. What's wrong, Manabukun? says Ippo. Nothing. A little tired is all. Must be effects on my weight control. I can't stop thinking about it. What Karazawa-san tried to do is exactly what I was considering doing against Kisuke. And that was the result. Is that going to happen to me too? So Ippo is trying to encourage him. Your speed is enough to intimidate anyone. There's really no need for you to worry so much. <laughs> Saitagaki says, It's kind of your fault, though. Imaikun, huh? I felt it firsthand when I sparred against him. To be honest, 
He's really strong. In high school, he beat me three times, and I screwed up my pro debut debut match. But Kiski has won every match and by KO to boot. And now everybody probably thinks I'm going to lose this next one too. It's like, damn it all. It doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. That's not what's important. You, what do you think? And he says, ah, I'm going to win. I'll win definitely. Ippo says, I think that's what's most important. How much you believe in yourself. You can't help being somewhat uneasy before a match. Even Takamura-san gets a little worried. That's why we all train. To make sure that we can believe in ourselves when that time comes. You run and you hit the punching bags. You start thinking, I might win. I can win. Slowly but surely you start believing in yourself over time. And then, there's no way that I could ever lose. You have to get yourself to the point where you feel like that. It's true if you get into the ring thinking you're going to lose, there's no way you can win. At least, that's what the coaches drilled into me. Tagaki says, thank you so much, senpai. I get it. I can't worry about what everyone thinks or about what happened in the past. I just have to believe in myself. What's impressive? It's like, that's impressive. I think I understand a little bit more why you are so strong. You get in the ring knowing there's no way you could ever lose. Senpai, well, I said that, but it was just big talk. That's what I'd call my ideal. I'd have to say the hardest person for me to have faith in is myself or something. Th that's enough. I'm sorry I mentioned it at all. Now I get the feeling I understand a little bit more why Senpai trains so hard. Oh, it's Kumi-san. Okay, so... Old girl came by. It's like, your mother said you might be here. So I borrowed a bike to come see you. Okay. Came to come see your, your boy. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. Congratulations on your, on your match the other day. Ippo says, thank you very much. She's like, were you hurt at all? He's like, nope. I came out uninjured for once. She says, thank goodness. Itagaki takes off. It's like, she's so pretty. Senpai's got it good. <laughs> Where are you going, Manabukun? Oh, just to run for a little bit, since I'm in the way. It's like, here, I brought a drink for you. My brother drinks this when he's on his diet. For me? Wow, that's awesome. Um, hmm. What's wrong? Is your sister around? Nanako said she had to go to a tutoring session. She's not too bright after all. Oh, so she isn't around then? Yes! <laughs> Now that you mention her, that reminds me that punk Kiski said, oh my, he wants you to introduce your little sister to him if he wins? So does that mean Imaikun likes Nanako-chan? Sure does seem like it. That really pissed me off. He goes beyond being rude, bringing such a condition into a man-to-man -man fight. Am I right? I'm like, yeah. Is that amazing. It's impressive he could say that. I wish he'd say something. I wish he'd say something like that. <laughs> so Kumi, Kumi is like, I wish Ippo was like that. You know what I'm saying? Which is, you know, it's commonplace for women. Women, they, they like that machismo stuff. You know, even though they pretend to not. <laughs> so, if I win... Please let me go out with your sister. <laughs> like, what? So, so Ippo is like, I could never say that. He'd never say that, though. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, nah, I'm all riled up now. Nanako can date whoever she wants to, but just not Kisuke. But Imai Kun seems like a pretty decent guy like no way like why not I let my little sister fall into the hands of the enemy I'd sooner die damn it I can't stand still any longer <laughs> training back to my training 
Uh, these two are just standing there. He's like, he'd rather die, huh? Uh, well, yes. These two are getting on my nerves. Like, they've been getting on my nerves since since the anime days. They're, they're getting on my nerves, man. They really do need to just just call it. Just be like, we're girl, family, boy. It's so obvious that they are, but they won't acknowledge it. I mean, at this point, they just need to acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody knows they're a couple. You know, so Itagaki-kun seems pretty intense like yeah and it's not just cause of nanako chan this is a battle with an opponent he's been chasing after since high school i think he wants to win this more than anything else and i know exactly how he feels because i have someone i've been chasing after as well itagaki good do you think he'll be okay he can win right Ippo says he'll be fine i'm sure He'll be able to win. Um, Kumi says, I'll go cheer for him. If we all cheer him on, I'm sure it'll give him confidence. Right. Let's cheer for him then. Oh, my God. Not Nanako. Nanako. Why is Nanako here? It's like, Hippo not was <laughs> hugging him. He's like, I studied too hard and now smoke is coming out of my ears. Like, <laughs> please make me feel better. Like. Oh, <laughs> sees Kumi. Oh my God, this triangle kills me. It's like, how long have you been standing there? You knew I was here the whole time. <laughs> Kumi. It's like, ha, huh, I think smoke's going to shoot out again. Rub my head and make me feel better. Uh, well, she's thinking, I hope you fall into the enemy's hand. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh not a coach. Um. Oh. Kumi's gonna play around and <laughs> and let Nanako steal Ippo from her. It's like Manabu kun this uh first prize Ippo gets you the new manga artist award. Oh wow, he won? He won a prize. Um, what's his, I can't even remember his name. I can never remember this dude's name. The dude that used to bully Ippo that's right in the manga. He won first prize for the um it, the manga was about fishing, right? It's like amazing, the fishing manga. He drew won an award. Let's go congratulate him. That's pretty cool. It's like Umazawa. Yes, that's his name, Umazawa. Are you there, Umazawa san? He's like, you think he's out? Should we come back later? They're knocking on his door. He's like, uh, so tired. Uh, well, if it isn't Ippo and Itagaki. We saw your book. Congratulations, Muzawa-san. I was so surprised. You should have, you should have let us know. Nah, I didn't think it was a big deal. Like, take a seat. A seat? Where? Like, garbage and clothes and stuff everywhere in this man's place it's like this sort of makes you the rookie king eh guess you're one step ahead of me it's like no no the hard part starts now no time to celebrate yet have you got the next script having trouble with it actually i work three days a week as an assistant on a serialized story now that guy's amazing it's brought me back down to earth and reminded me of how far I have to go. You're doing your best, Umazawa-kun. But it's nothing compared to what you've done. It's the same no matter where you go. When I spar with Senpai, he brings me back down to earth too. I see, so you were in the Rookie King Finals, huh? I still remember when Ippo was in it. So how about it then? Think you can win? Well, I plan on it. And the other guy's tough, isn't he? Like, yes, he's heavily favored to win it all. I see. So the odds are favored. So the odds are favored, huh? Aha, so I see, I see. Umazawa-kun, come on, it's no joke. I'm sorry. It just really reminds me when Ippo was in it, is all. Nobody figured Ippo had a chance of surviving back then. There was this guy, Ayami, and Miyata-kun was also favored to win. And after them, there was Kumi-chan's big brother, 
Hippo was still a high school kid back then. He looked so weak whenever he was in his school uniform. Hippo says, can I use your bathroom? I'm like, sure. I've only known Senpai to be strong, says Itagaki. I see, so he seemed weak once. I bet he was really worried before his matches, wondering how to fight and thinking about how he might lose. Umazawa says, well, yeah, but... He's like, but what? I don't have to explain it to you, do I? You've been with him long enough to have figured it out by now. He's like, no, I'm not quite sure. Ippo hasn't changed at all. Now, before he became the champ, and even before all that, he hasn't changed one bit. He still thinks of himself as a challenger. Hmm, that's an interesting concept. And that's very true. It's kind of true. His nature, he never changed. He approaches every match the, the same way. He still kind of thinks of himself as the one who still has something to prove, which is awesome because always believing that you're the underdog could, could really, really, um, you know, raise your confidence going into anything in life. So that's pretty cool. That's why it's really hard to catch up to him. I'm doing the best that I can, but he never slows down at all. Not even for a second. Huh. What's wrong? Don't worry about it. I'm sure you two have a lot to talk about. So I'll head back to the gym first. Oh, uh, okay. Omazawa-san, thank you for the good story. Good story. I said, don't worry about it. But man, he seems pretty worried, eh? Is his opponent really that strong? And Ippo says, yes, he is. It's kind of a grudge match for him, too. You worried? He's like, there's a lot to worry about. After I got ranked, I haven't fought nearly as frequently as I did in the Rookie Kings. It must be the most strenuous tournament there is, mentally and physically. Though he doesn't show it, Manabu Kun is probably at the peak of his fatigue. I think that he's in pain right now, but he keeps forcing himself on anyway. Since you've lived through it, you ought to give him some advice, says Umazawa. Like what he can do to win or something. Like, hmm. Oh, yeah. What if you tell him about something that's given you trouble before? It's like something I had trouble with? If it gave you trouble, it should give other boxers a hard time, too. So tell him about that. But boxer types are a lot more versatile and something that worked on me might not work on his opponent. I couldn't tell him something like that. There isn't very much time before the match either. I wish that I could do something to help him out, but come on, everything gonna be alright if the kun will win and he'll become the rookie king. Yeah. I'll make time to come cheer him on. Yeah, let's cheer him on. He still thinks of himself as a challenger, huh? That's definitely a good mindset. But those words probably... Uh, I want to test my strength. I want to fight a powerful champion. Suit him more than they do me right now. How can I catch up with them? Itagaki think it out loud. Okay, let's continue. Good work. Right. Man, I'm starved. Let's have Ippo treat us to some ramen. That sounds great. I've got a treat. Here you go, Itagaki-kun. What is it? Videos of Imai-kun's matches. We got three fights worth. I'll be fine. There isn't any time to study him and come up with a plan. I've got a pretty good idea of how he boxes anyways. Come on. You could at least take them. Oh, okay. Want to come along, Marabu-kun? Going out for ramen, huh? Retard. Inviting someone who's on their diet? <laughs> Ouch. Is that, that's right, it's just before his match. Okay, so, don't look so worried. Itagaki's done all, it, done all he needs to do. Hell, he might even win this thing. Might? It's like, I'm no help at all. Manabu goes home. What? You bet Nanako on the match? He's like, that's right. He didn't ask me either. Terrible, isn't it? How? How do you even know about it? Kumi-san asked me about it the other day. 
she was saying something about rushing to get married the second I graduate from high school. Penetration. That's totally different. It's completely twisted around now. It's like, sorry, but I only like Ipo-san anyways. Right? Right. ipo is the only one she needs. <laughs> if it's ipo we don't need to worry. Indeed. I'd give her to that horseman Ippo any day since I don't know this guy from a horse's ass. <laughs> from a horse's ass. Oh my god. Horses not nether region. Complete stranger. Also a long cylindrical object. <laughs> These guys are making fun of him. It was like no hippo guy. He got he got he got to lay down. You know what I'm saying? He got to he got to pull out. He pull out game. <laughs> when he pulls out, the whole room get dark. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like well, Imai's dad runs the huge business. I'm pretty sure. I heard a rumor that he started boxing so he wouldn't be treated like a little rich boy. Please, Nanako, hurry up and let him. Penny, what? <laughs> Why is the mom and dad flip flopping so much? All of a sudden, they heard that Ima is from a rich family. They're like, please hurry up and let him penetrate. <laughs> I mean, let him marry you. <laughs> it's like, then we wouldn't have to pay your college tuition. And then Nanako is like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, Marabu, I don't want to, so you better win. He's like, I plan on it. Just don't over to do things. Got it? You better overdo it. Oh, man. His family is, cracks me up. All asleep at long last. I don't think that I could take them, act him up again. So he's looking at the tapes. He's like, his punch is impressive as ever. His destructive power might be close to Senpai's level. Good rotation on his combos, too. You're finished if he catches you. If he catches you. Footwork, I need to use my legs against them. When it comes to speed, I win out. But that body blow, if I get hit with that, it'll be a repeat of that. Damn it. If I hadn't seen that, I wouldn't be so damn worried about it. There's no way I'll be able to dodge all of them. Eventually, a body blow will hit me. My speed will be killed. And, and I'll lose my only weapon against them. Sooner or later... It'll come down to an exchange. Exchange punches with him? That's insane. Slugging it out with him would be suicide. No, I'll win this time. I'm going to find a way to win. Forget about a KO. Run circles around it. Use my feet to run and it'll just be beat on the run. It'll be pathetic. Shit, what do I want? What do I... What can I do? I can't trade punches with him evenly. If only I, if only I had more power. My fists seem incredibly small. Well, the thing, the, the thing that Itagaki got to realize is, is that uh, what they've been trying to tell him to do, just go in there and fight, man. Just go in there and fight. If you keep worrying about all these, all these different things, which is a problem, will he find that focus once he's in the ring? Because all this stuff that he's worried about, he can't help any of it now he can't do anything different he can't at this point training 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 make weight get in the ring and do what you got to do if you win you win if you lose you lose because at this point worrying about all that stuff is not gonna matter it's just not gonna matter so let's keep going here next chapter all right so we got ippo in the ring it seems it's like this is the last spar go all out and make your final adjustments and so I ask for your guidance, like, right. So Ippo and Itagaki is sparring. He's like, oh, he's using that speed. He's like, he's like, he's like fast. He's gotten much faster than before. Throwing a lot of punches at Ippo. He's like, he's like a porcupine. Hundreds of needles come flying at you in one shot. He measured the distance with his left. A right is coming. And it's sharp. It's like, oh, he's fast. Makes his left. 
he steps back by the time he's like he steps back by the same amount I step forward. He's good. Don't hold back on him, Ippo. You're not helping him that way. It wouldn't do to injure Itagaki right before his match. I'm sure the brat is holding back on him. But still, he looks very polished in there. It's like, that was that was a right. A left is coming. I knew it. So next is a... Ah. It's like, thank you very much. Well done. Don't let any fatigue remain. Relax your body thoroughly. All right. How was it, brat? As you saw, he's very well prepared. Even if he weren't a rookie... I think he would be very hard to hit. Indeed, he's not the kind of talent that should be content with just a Rookie King title. It's just unfortunate that there are so many strong opponents in the same era as him. That's not something to lament, you know. I think we should be grateful for the presence of rivals. Itagaki has had a lot of bitter experiences since he became a pro, and I think they've made him grow mentally. He can do it. I'm sure he'll get his revenge of him, my Kyusuke. Hmm, did you notice any, anything else, brat? He's like, huh? Where'd he go? <laughs> Ippo dipped already? He's like, if you had fought one more round, you would have KO'd him, wouldn't you? Let's <laughs> Takamura. I said he was well prepared, didn't I? He's like, I couldn't have caught Manabukun in three more minutes. He's like, hmm. You were reading them two or three punches ahead, weren't you? Itagaki's moves. It's like, you must have realized it. You should tell Itagaki clearly that he can't beat Imai. <laughs> oh my god. I'm worried for this kid, man. I'm really worried. The whole time I'm reading, I'm like, I, I, I feel like he's not going to win this match because... I don't know. I just don't feel like he has. He, he don't has. The, he do, he doesn't have the skills. I don't think he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, the hype is not there. Like, I don't see anything about him where I could say okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so Ippo was reading his moves. You know what I'm saying? Reading his move by saying okay, it's the right or the left. Blah 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 blah. Um, so Takamura noticed too and saying to Ippo that he should tell Itagaki. So. Is that that he won't know unless he tries. Then let him go ahead at this rate so the coach is listening. So then let him go at, go ahead at this rate. But you know, it'll be a hundred percent KO lost. There's no such thing as a hundred percent. And if he changes, oh, you have some ideas? How about telling him what you hate having done to you? That's all I know, but tell him then. Right. So there's only one week till the match. I can't tell him to change his strategy at this late point. So you'll watch him die? Watch him die? You know full well his current strategy won't work, don't you? I ask you, are you going to stand by and watch your Kohai die? What do you mean? By watching me die. Oh shit. Itagaki showed up. He's like Manabu Kun. The coach told me to come up to the roof. And see. What. And see. What are you talking about? Please tell me. No. You have to tell me. It's like you never know what will happen. In boxing unless you try. That's why I think you still have a chance to win. But. But. Takabura is like you're wasting time. I'll be his messenger. The fact is that you're lacking something vital. Takamura-san, shut up. It's like lacking something? Unpredictability. It's true, he's too predictable. And what that's the thing, like, how can he change that in a week is what I'm trying to say. Like, it's too close to the match for, for anything to change right now. So he, he, he might take the fall, but... Let's see if he gonna get to work and try to become unpredictable because that's not easy to do. So it's like take a break in mind. Okay, that's great. It seems Mazona has already won the West Jap Japan Championship. 
he's going to be troublesome because he's a southpaw. And I'm here sitting down here recording for an hour now and forgot to take a break. So we're going to take a break right here, cut this off, and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, let's continue. So it said, take a break, Im Im um, Imai. Okay, that's great. It seems Mazona has already won the West Championship. West Japan. West Japan Championship. He's going to be troublesome because he's a southpaw. West Japan, we're not done with East Japan yet. He said, well, well, you beat your opponent three times in high school, right? You have nothing to be nervous about. Excuse me, I'm going on with my training. I've never once thought I could beat him easily. He must have upped his blinding speed even more. Just thinking about chasing him makes me dizzy. This alone won't slow Manabu down. It has to be sharper, has to be stronger. What powerful body blows. These will stop Itagaki dead in his tracks. It seems that the person who rates Itagaki Manabu the highest might be Imai himself. Imai has his own anxieties. He hits a way to try and cover up those anxieties. He already know that carelessness is the worst enemy. We all realized that in the Makanouchi Hayami match. But still, I want you to tell me, how can anyone beat a man with such talent and diligence? The more I look at him, the more I believe it. He's flawless. Okay, so we're back on the roof. Like, unpredictable? I mean, unpredictability? And he's like, it's true that you have a good boxing sense. Your eyes are good, your instinct is good, and your speed is outstanding. You're a textbook outboxer. And what's wrong with that? In some, in, If something is written in a textbook, then all you have to do is read it, and you'll know. When he does this, do that. When he does that, do this. The truth is, you're very easy to read. Moreover, powerful fighters are used to opponents using their feet against them. No matter how fast you are, he won't be surprised. Is that, huh? So what do you want me to do? Are you saying I should throw away the style I'm used to? Are you saying I should fight it out with Kyusuke? Don't come barking at me. I'm just a messenger. These are Ippo's thoughts. <laughs> Takamura is such a cop-out sometimes. I can't stand his ass sometimes. Is that senpai? Hmm. And Mike couldn't probably expect you to be using your feet, but if you do something different from what he expects from the very beginning, from the beginning, an infight, he'll definitely be shocked. It will destroy his rhythm. It's hard to rebuild one's rhythm in four to six rounds. Remember, I remember being in trouble because of something like that. A hitting match with Kiyosuke with that punch? With these small fists, I'm sorry to confuse you this close to your match. As I said before, you don't know what will happen until you go out there and do it. You can forget what I said if you want. You choose. You decide. It's like, I'm sorry that I can't take it any responsibility for this. Not telling him might be watching him die, but, but the difference in power is plainly evident. I may just have pronounced the death sentence is <laughs> that that was unusually nosy of you i wasn't being nosy i just passed on a message he's like didn't you bet on imai kyusuke hmm? it would be boring if they had such an easy match they remind me of a match i saw long ago it's like i see their long history huh the finals of the East Japan Rookie Kings between Miata and the brat that never happened. And the brat that never happened. It's true that this case is similar. If they had fought back then, who would have been stronger? I'm quite interested in that answer. The Phantom Card coming to life, huh? Alright, next chapter. Alright, we have 597. It's like both Imai and Kiyosuke, I'm trying to get to, like, at least, 
I don't want to. The thing, like, I, I was hoping that we got this fight for this read through, but it doesn't seem like we're going to get this fight for this read through. So let's at least get to. Um, let's see if they get to, to the weigh in by the time I hit 10. So let's see how it goes. So Bodhi, Mai, Kisuke, and Itagaki Manabu, they've grabbed the spotlight within the acceptable weight limit. Okay, so this is the weigh in. Okay, so they've grabbed the spotlight. Well, it's the most anticipated card out of all the classes. This isn't just about the Rookie Kings either. One could take the featherweight title in the near future. Last time I saw you, I thought you might lose out to weight control. But from the look of things, Itagaki says, I'm doing fine. Oh, that's right. I have another reason I can't lose to you. Nanako says she has no interest in going out with you at all. Chew on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, that thing? I apologize. Since I was the one who brought it up, but I'd forgotten all about it. It's like, you forgot, huh? Yes, lately, the only thing on my mind has been beating you. It's like, yeah, same here. Tomorrow is fight night. So how's Itagaki been looking this past week? He didn't talk much at work. He seems to be caught up in all that. Of course he would be. You told him to fight with Imai at all, didn't you? That kind of crap would depress anyone. That advice was a load of bull. Anybody could see that he'd be in real trouble at close range. Ow. Hot. Okay, so they're levels apart in power. Slugging it out would be suicide. It's like, shut the hell up. I can't even relax to enjoy my meal. You're acting like a slugfest is your only option at close range, retards, huh? And there's no guarantee he's going to fight at close range. It's not like Ippo told him what to do. Whatever happened, it's going to be Itagaki's decision and his alone. I think he would be better off if he used his feet. He should follow up in his usual style. But what will happen if he gets caught? Won't he have to slug it out then anyways? True. Like either way, it's pretty obvious that this is going to be a difficult match. Itagaki must be preparing himself for anything. It's like, okay, so Umazawa is here. He's like, crap, did it start already? It's like over here, Umazawa-san, Kumi-chan. Like it's the junior bantamweights up there, so Itagaki couldn't still two matches off. Phew. Made it just in time. And this is Itagaki-kun's family. All right, I made us some victory headbands that'll ensure a win. Go on and take one. Let's give our all and cheer him on. The possibility of a rich son-in-law, it'll be goodbye to the poor house. <laughs> oh my God, these parents are killing me. What are you doing? Tie him on already. Aren't you going to cheer him on? I guess so. For my son's sake, <laughs> I'll cheer my head off. Okay then, let's do it. Like, oh, ah, he's cheer, he's cheered his toupee off. <laughs> oh, his hair fell off. It's like it's getting away. Damn it, Dad, quit fooling around. All right, so we got in the locker room. It's like damn it all to hell. It's a shame, but you did well until the very end. The bantam weights. The bantamweights have finished up. It's almost his turn. We'll be going upstairs now. Itagaki. Be sure that you settle this old grudge once and for all. The Rookie King title's a piece of cake. So go take it already, would you? An invincible divide exists here. Which side you end up on is all up to you. So what if we didn't win when we were in it? Loser should shut the hell up. <laughs> it's like, it's like Takamura says to Itagaki, it's like, try and make it a match. That's worth watching. Ippo is talking to Itagaki now. He's like, I know that you're doing your best, and I know you're going to do your best out there. And I guess that's all I can really say right now. Do your best, Manabukun. Okay. I could have gone on. Why'd they stop it? It's fine. Just lay down already. What? The junior featherweights are done already? 
it was on it's what it was uneventful one round ko we have to hurry to the ring get ready to go itagaki it's like hang on for just one second just a little longer your opponent is already waiting in the ring itagaki next chapter 598 okay the fight is here let's do it itagaki's choice the blue corner is pretty late. Ima is already standing by. Is he trying to piss him off by making him wait? I'm the one getting pissed off already. So the crowd talking is like, hey, hey, what's going on? He must be in the building by now, but hurry up and start. What the hell's going on? This is bad. The crowd is getting rowdy. Let's wait a little longer and see. Still not ready. This is what we came to see, you know. What's wrong with Itagaki? Is he late? Maybe he forfeited a match. Hurry up and come out. It's like he's making us wait too long. Or is he so scared he can't leave the waiting room? He's still not here. He's late. What could be wrong with Manabukun? I don't know. Maybe he couldn't prepare himself in time, huh? I think he's lost and confused. Wondering whether to use his feet or to infight. He has to pick one before he gets in the ring. It's like that can't be. That won't do. He can't get in the ring while he still has doubts okay so is he coming out now okay cool he's coming out now he's running to the ring bro <laughs> oh this dude it's like is it Tagaki? he he's here he's here what were you doing you idiot okay so Itagaki is coming oh my dude is hopping over the ropes let's go he's ready let's do it it's like marabukan Itagaki, that's my brother. What, what a defiantly flashy entrance. He's finally here, huh? My dude jumped over. He's like, all right, let's do it. Let's do it right now. It's like he's full of spirit. That's great, Itagaki. We'll cheer for you. What an impudent attitude after making them wait so long. Manabu has always been like that. Cheerful, fearless, and optimistic. But even so, this defiant, this defiant attitude. I'll have to be careful. Sharpen my thoughts. Concentrate. This is Imai. <laughs> Imai is like, concentrate. Focus. <laughs> he looks really good in there. He isn't confused about anything. Says Ippo. is like, that bastard, he made up his mind, did he? Made up his mind to do what? Will he use his feet or will he infight? Huh? Where's Takamura-san? I don't see him anywhere. Where did he go, that idiot? The main attraction of this year's East Japan Rookie King Tournament has got to be these two men. Two amateur elites. This is a faded showdown. In their amateur days, in my bag, sang <laughs> the victory song. But what will happen now that they are pros? One is like a fighter plane with the speed of sound. The other is like a heavy tank flexibility and hardness speed and power will clash here tonight their first six round match right here in the east japan rookie kings tournament six rounds what drama will be packed into these 18 minutes a match you just have to watch the gong will sound any minute okay so you came after all you know, you you know Miata is going to show up. Come on now. They're in the same class as me. I'm quite interested. That's not all you're interested in, I bet. Certainly do resemble the two of us back then, but I'm not interested in this match only because of that. Your prediction? Well, Itagaki is bringing a lot of emotion into fight. It'll be worth watching. What would you have done? If you'd fought Ippo back in the Rookie King. Would you use your feet? Would you infight? I don't know what I would have done at the time. But if I fought him now. I know what the correct answer is. Oh? It's like well. I'm not the one fighting here. Let's have him show us. His choices and decisions. There's no confusion. On Manabukan's face. He's ready. Which did he pick? His feet? Or an infight? I've made up my mind. That's right. These are my only weapons. Concentrate. 
All right, you go. The going shatters the si shatters the silence. Imai dashes out the same moment. He makes a beeline for the blue corner. He's going straight ahead. It's like, Whoa. There he goes. He just jumped out all of a sudden. He's like, my feet, my weapons. I'll use my feet. Okay, so you're going to use your speed. Okay. All right. So he's like, Itagaki. He chose to use his feet. He's like, damn. He's not wrong. Choosing to trust in one's own weapons is one correct answer. He turns around. And right there, the lefts stab at him. He's fast. What's with those lefts? Both his feet and his arms are fast. All right. That's great. Maintain that speed. You'll be fine so long as you can get away. He tightens his guard and advances without flinching. Forward, forward. I knew it. Imaikun is used to this fighting style. Sooner or later, he'll catch him. You can run away if you want. It's a fighting style I'm all but sick of. I learned long ago to be patient. No matter how long it takes, I'll chase you and catch you. I'll definitely ram this, fin this, <laughs> ram this fist right down your stinking tr throat. <laughs> Imai is getting mad. <laughs> Imai is getting mad. All right, let's go. Imai pursues him as he weaves his torso. He's cut off the path of the retreat in Itagaki. A mere split second. Such incredible dashing speed. And once more we see his thunderous punches strike out. Even the sound when it misses is amazing. He's trying to finish him from the start. Dear Dodge, but a here's breath. Damn, bro. <laughs> this man is out here doing um sure you can't it's just, what is wrong with this dude it's a display of extraordinary reflexes here through little more than a pinhole space a left finds his way and hits home what i didn't see anything he might got a he got hit hitagaki is out here putting in work though it was a left man what speed he isn't faced by it. He recovers in an instant. He's like, his swings are wide. I can see them all. I was like, what? Oops. He stopped. Monobo gun. So he hits him. He's still moving fast, moving around. What an annoying left. In my thinking, it's like, it's like this is the kind of power his left has. If we end up trading shots, when I try to counter, I'll definitely be the one who goes down. Whoa, what's with this match? It's a higher level than usual. In my punch is amazing, but he can't even touch Itagaki. Are these two guys really rookies? The crowd suddenly become heated up. They're delivering on the high expectations for their match. And still two minutes remaining in the very first round. Who will gain the upper hand? So far, they're both more or less even. Keep up that pace. Move around. Try to make him slip up. It's true his footwork and lefts are dangerous. But that's just for the time being. Little by little, we're going to shut them both up. It's like, ah, the atmosphere is different now. Ah, he tightens his guard and curls himself up. Rather than charge forward, Imai slowly closes in instead. He can't touch him when he chases him down. So, is he trying to be more precise now? Will that work for him? He'll just give Itagaki even more room to use his footwork though. If you're going to lower your speed, then I'm going to crank it up. Seeing this, Itagaki shifts up gears and he throws out a string of high speed lefts while keeping at a distance fast he got even faster he's got to be open somewhere find it find it find a hole in his defense and let him have a right he's bound to throw a big one sooner or later and that'll be my chance all right so whew, this match getting juicy getting juicy his hands don't stop and neither does his feet as he rides the rhythm 
Hitagaki's combo strike out more and more. Can he not follow this speed? Imai doesn't fight back. He threatens his guard and just endures it all. Can't stop, can't stop. I have to keep moving. Find an opening. Itagaki is thinking. Okay. And he kicks it up a notch. And he kicks it up. Uh, let me take off this image for a split second here so I can see what's going on over there. I don't like when they do the spreads because it's the spreads I can. I have to probably look on my other screen. To uh, And he kicks it up another notch. Yes, his speed knows no bounds. This performance invokes thunderous cheers. There's no way. No one in the Rookie Kings can be that fast. Somebody tie him down. Yeah, he's looking good. That punk is really good at working up the audience. He's exciting the fans, which exciting himself. He's adept at getting all the crowd behind him. Yes. Go, go, Itagaki. Go, go, Itagaki. Don't get hasty. Just keep calm. I'm not good at fighting it out from this distance anyways. Ignore those annoying lefts and focus entirely on the chance that's going to come. Even if he tightens his guard, he'll leave an opening somewhere if I'm using the this many lefts. And when I find it, I'll throw a right into it. But he's uh, but Ima is also waiting on that right. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Ima is waiting on that right too. Go, go, Itagaki. They're screaming at Takaki. He's like, he's open. I'm not going to miss this chance. He steps in to do the right. He's going to throw a big one. His feet have stopped moving. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. You missed it. He missed the right. You missed it. Oh. Ooh, did he get it? Or did he Did he get him or did he, he miss? Oh, he got away just in time. Ah. Oh. Ooh, you so lucky, Itagaki, right now. You are so lucky because he's like, he's after a body blow. That punch was almost unfair. Itagaki can punch all he wants. It's done. If he... He's like, he's done. If one of those hits. It's like throwing a bunch of wooden spears at a tank. This is going to be a tough one. It's possible to keep on running without getting hit at least once. Uh, damn, a single miss swing and the atmosphere changes entirely. Itagaki still has a momentum. He's in good shape. That's right. Be confident and fight on. It looks like the audience has been quieted down. The next thing we'll put a stop to is Itagaki's legs. It's like, I see now. Okay. Just as expected, he went after Itagaki's legs. That was a pretty sharp body blow. In fighters, in fighters, sure are a persistent lot. Even if they miss, they'll keep at it over and over again. It's like, just try and stop me. Itagaki is going at it again with the lefts. The tight guard helps him ignore those lefts, and the second that the gap is closed, whoa, damn, I was so close. Jeez, that was a real close one. He could, Itagaki should be feeling incredibly pressured right now, says Takamura. It's like seeing the same pattern that led to an infighter beating a much faster outboxer must be putting a crushing level of mental pressure on him. You said that he should use his footwork, though. It was the right choice to make, but in boxing, sooner or later, you will have to trade punches. You can't win by just running away. That punk, calmly staring at me, it really makes me sick. I know, this is the same strategy that Senpai used in the Karasawa match. Match, it's not worried, he's not worried about points. You think that you're definitely gonna catch me and then finish me off that, um, that right? I said, don't stop moving it, Takagi. Have confidence, he won't catch you. Speaking as... A fighter type people people who use footwork to evade you can be troublesome but if you expect it there's no pressure at all you calmly observe as they throw their lefts circling to the right and you can see beyond that so if you're used to fighting boxer types then you can predict 
what's going to happen. But the opponent, but the opposite's true too. Itagaki ought to be used to fighter types by now. Even if he takes one or two hits, if this keeps up, he could probably take it to a victory by decision. That would be true if his opponent only had ordinary strength. It's like, if his moves can be read, he'll get hit sooner or later. Any one of Imai's punches could be a critical hit too. So being hit once mean he's caught then? What can we do, Ippo? I don't know. All we can do is pray. <laughs> it's like, please don't let him get hit. Please don't let him get caught. <laughs> it's like, this is exactly what makes fighters so damn scary. They'll ignore the points and bet it all on one punch. Knowing one hit can cause an upset, even if you're far in the lead, makes it hard for us boxers to relax. Itagaki, how will you overcome it? This pressure. You get it now? I could never stand a chance in a match of technical skills. In the fights during our amateur days, I never bothered trying to get into a point contest against you. Both then and now, a fighter like me has got only one choice against you. Force my way forward and fight it out. It's like what Kitagaki is thinking now. It's like what pressure? I get it already. I know you're strong. The first time we fought in high school, I got knocked out before I even knew what happened. I used my footwork the second time, but you still caught me. And so I thought all I had to do was move even faster. When the time came, you still managed to beat me the third time as well. I get it now. There's only one option for me. What is it? Why aren't you coming? In that case, I'll come to you. With this guy, there's no running away. Running won't. Aha! Help me win! He's like, Ugh. I worried about it for such a long time. I couldn't even force myself out of the locker room until I was sure. You're definitely lacking in something. Sorry for bringing this up irresponsibly. Morzan Senpai, no matter how things turn out, I won't blame you because this is something that I chose, something I decided to do myself. This is the answer I came across. Infighting. Okay, so he's gonna infight. Okay, okay, Itagaki, I see you. I, I see you out here. I see you out here. It's like, ah, in the center of the ring. Itagaki presses himself into Imai. So they are here. It's like, why not moving with their shoulders pressed against one another? Both competitors stand their ground in the middle of the ring. Eyes and knee going to get some distance and fight using outboxing. He can't take Imai's pressure, so he's trying to clinch now. Take a closer look, stupid. He isn't holding on to him. It's like, what? What's Itagaki trying to do out there? He's like, oh, Manabu-kun, Shinoda-kun. No, I wasn't told anything about this. Whoa, whoa, are you kidding me? You intend to fight it out with Imai? The power just in his shoulders is incredible. This is Manabu's way of showing me his intent. I can feel his desire to fight it out at this distance. He's done running. I see. He doesn't want to lose the same way he did before by using his footwork and running away. But while we were still just amateurs, I never once tried anything quite like this. Being up against him like this reminds me of how strong he really is. He's slowly pushing me backwards. The difference in our strengths becoming clear. So it looked like it might push them off. It's like, holy crap, he knocked him away. But close range is my domain. Ooh, Itagaki got him with an uppercut. Let's go. Let's go. It's like an uppercut. He stabbed by his right. He held on and fought back. He doesn't intend on moving away at all. Unbelievable. He seriously intends on taking this to an invite against him. He's like, uh, all right. He's like, bruh, I'm here. Fight me. <laughs> He's like, he leans forward, shifting his weight to his front feet. He's showing even more signs of aggression. Whoa. He's like, he's really going to do it. Itagaki's going to fight it out. Does he stand a chance? All right, do it then. Go ahead and fight it out. Take the manly route, Itagaki. No one wants to watch you just prance around. <laughs> it's like, 
So he wants the infight. No matter what. Surprise? It'll be a shame if you weren't. Don't underestimate me. Ooh. He's like, whoa, bro, you missed? He's like, in my launches forward with a mighty punch. But they dodge by a hair's breath again. But that's the thing, though. He can fight at that distance. It's just that can he generate power from that distance as an infighter? Because if he can use his speed to bob and weave, he can have an advantage and use try to use his footwork at short distances. And I, I know it's not an easy thing to do to use um to to really use that speed because there's not a lot of boxers that has that kind of talent um if you're going to name box you're talking about sugar ray leonard incredible um both out and an in boxer he can use his speed i remember um roy jones jr being a very good fighter from you know very close range with that the footwork and the close and at a close range being you know what i'm saying so that's it's not an easy thing to do if you you know what i'm saying so let's see if he's let's see if he can do it but there okay so he continues to dodge within the smallest spaces at this distance so i'm saying that's what he got to do bob and weave up close like damn it are you trying to kill me or something just feeling them brush past hurts but he's swinging too wide and his rotations are too slow ah there's another counter booyah he got him again. He's like, nice counter there, but he ain't got no power. He ain't got no power, man. He's like, nice counter there. He can actually infight pretty good. He's like, oh, you think I'm going to back off and hit you, right? He digs in deep, sticking closer still. He's taking an even lower stance than the fighter in my. I'm never going to back away from you. All right. Fight, keep going. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's do it. 6.02. That the outboxer Itagaki is moving forward of his own will. No one expected this to happen. Imai appears to be completely confused. He's lowered himself deeper than me, but ultimately it's just something he came up with on the spot. The advantage at this range is mine. He doesn't let him punch. While at close range, he fires into Imai's body. You're definitely lacking in something unpredictability he remembers what Te takamura said to him he's like mm, surprise you shocked it's a hard swing and he misses again but it misses itagaki's reflexes are a dazzling display if you do something else that he doesn't expect it'll definitely be a shock for him and break his rhythm he's like Ugh. he dodges and connects with another counter he's like uh He's confused right now and in shock too. I can see what he wants to try a mile away. I've got him. It's a right. Oh, is he going to get it? You got to be kidding me. The bell. The bell. Oh, man. It's the end of round one. Boy, you just got saved by the bell. It's like I've got him. And the lead is mine. A bold display. He raises high the fist that almost connected just now. A clear contrast can be seen in the way they return to their con the corners. Whoa, what a flashy guy. Attaboy, atta Itagaki. Keep it up, man. He's like, Itagaki. Shinoda-san. Did you see it? The face Kiyosuke made. I just scared the crap out of him. It's like, whatever. Just sit down. I was the one that you scared the crap out of. In fighting out of the blue like that, have you forgotten your own style? I didn't forget. Fighting with Imai at that range is just too risky. How long did you think you were going to be able to hold out? He's like, why? Until the very end, of course. He got a point lead in that one. I wasn't expecting him to go and try in fighting like that. He'll be desperate to protect his point advantage. Now, I'm positive he'll use his footwork to keep away again next round. So don't you let him get away. He got me. Manabu won't run away. He'll keep at me. That was his intention from the start. No way. He intends on trading punches for the entire fight. It saves me the trouble of chasing him down. I'll just have to face him head on. 
seconds out. He's like, okay, all right. Itagaki, if you want to fight at close range, don't sway so much or else he'll be able to hit you while you're off balance. True. He's like, roger that. He's like, he seems ready to go. I feel my lifespan getting shorter. <laughs> Having him use his footwork to gain points would have been ideal, but it just means the blood of the Kamigawa gym flows in him. In that case, go on. Go and do as much as you can. And this second round is like a replay of the last. It might bolts ahead. But it appears Itagaki has managed to get to the center of the ring before him. He intends to fight it out at close range in this round too. Ugh, is he serious? Man, that punk is practically in go-go mode. I suppose he can't ignore the advice of Takamura-san and Ippo, the two Kamigawa champions. But this is dangerous. He can't beat that guy by slugging it out. If he loses, it's your fault. Got it? <laughs> Ippo is like, wait, what? <laughs> I know I did give him that advice, but I only meant for him to keep at it if he couldn't avoid an infight. I didn't think he would go forward and be so forceful like this. Is this the right answer you were talking about? Using his footwork is part of it, but the right answer also incorporates hit and run. In other words, use a mixture of close range fighting and outboxing, which is exactly what I explained a minute ago where I was talking about the other boxers that have done this in the past, where it's a mixture. It's a mixture. You can you can stick and move and you can step in when you need to because you have the speed to bob and weave and get away from punches. You know what I'm saying? So you can you can fight like that. So that's what I could so Miyate is saying that's what he would have done. It's like getting in a straight out straight straight out in fight against a powerful fighter, it's not only far from the right answer, it's just plain reckless. It's like a left hits. Right in his momentum from the first round, Itagaki attacks. It's like just ignore it. Oops. One punch. If I can connect with this fist, it'll be over in one shot. But you're missing, buddy. You're missing. It's like, this is giving me an ulcer. I can feel my life expectancy shrinking from watching this. Okay, gonna take a break here. Come back for part three. All right, we're back. All righty. All right, the fighting. Stepping forward on his own. It's that mighty blows nearly graze his cheeks. They're sailing by his shoulders. One by one, each... One by one, each KO punch is narrowly evaded. He might throw out more punches, more of them. Even if he blocks, you'll at least have touched him. Hmm. He's trying hard, but <laughs> the guy, he's out here like, yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> if one of these hit me, I'm dead. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, just barely. It's like, that was close. Hit the gaki, enough with the swing. It's too dangerous. I can't bear to watch. It's like. I have to avoid swaying then. Fine, I'll weave my head and dodge them completely. He's not moving his body. Aim for that. Mix in some low shots. So he goes for the body. He goes for the body and Itagaki switches. Mm, makes both high and low punches together, but he can't hit him. Hey, he's pretty damn amazing. Even though they're so close, he can't touch him at all. It's like, whoa, that's awesome, Itagaki. How can you dodge all of those? Hit him once already, Imai. You fanning him or what? <laughs> you fanning him, giving him some cool breeze, cool him down. It's like, why Imai is throwing so many punches? So why isn't he hit him, hitting him? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Why are these ads, <laughs> these ads that pop up on this site, bro? Like, come on, man. I'm trying to keep it kids friendly around here. You know what I mean? So Imai's face shows how desperate he is. Close quarters are his forte, yet he only hits air. And he's truly frustrated. You can almost hear the sound of his teeth grinding. Do you get what Itagaki's doing? To an extent, but even then, it's not something you can do just because you're told to. Ippo, did you recommend Itagaki to try taking it to an infight? Because you knew something like this would happen? Ippo, uh, well, no, sorry, I was mesmerized. Talent's a truly amazing thing. Amazing to think he'd be this good. I never thought that he'd be this good. It's a surprise to me. 
When I told him to infight, I was halfway joking. But he seems to be coping well. And he's using his footwork while he's infighting. That's something that just can't be taught. It's very true. Using your footwork to move out of range. Move out of range at high speeds at an extremely close range. It's infighting as well as outboxing. Definitely. I never thought that I'd see. What is he saying here? Is like a genius. I never thought that I'd see such a risky stunt as this at the rookie king level, says Takamura. It's like, ha, ah, a left connects becoming a counter. Ha, ah, he's pretty damn tough. Despite all those counters landing, he can still fire back on the spot. It's a combination. Hitagaki's rotation speeds up getting faster. No, it's affecting him. If you get hit that much, the damage start building up over time. And it's all thanks to the hint that Senpai gave me. I'm jealous of the fighters who are boxer types. They can fight from far away and box at a distance, but they also can also close in and switch to infighting if they want. Their different fighting modes open up a lot of options for them. So that's what he took from what Ippo said. So that's cool that he actually was like, can I combine both of them instead of just putting myself in danger? I can combine being up close and using my speed. Um, so let's see how he does. It'll be a waste if I didn't take advantage of those options. Combine that with what I saw at the Karasawa match when I saw Senpai use his pressure to crush a boxer who only used his footwork to run away. Okay, Imai goes in for a punch again and he dodges. I can't run away. I have to step forward myself and knock away the pressure on my own. Itagaki gets him again. Whoa, did that one do it? Himai is knocked back. He's like, don't back off. Go. He's like, he doesn't miss his chance. Itagaki boldly steps in. Did he get hit? He got hit, didn't he? He's like, ah. He's like, he hit him. Himai's fist hits Itagaki for the first time in this match. Ah, oh, crap. Here we go now. He got hit. Is this going to slow him down? His first clean hit this match is a fierce one. Itagaki stopped dead in his tracks. He stopped moving. Did that one get to him? Man, this is it. This is what I was afraid of. Change the flow of this match. No, he managed to block it just barely. It was too light. But I did put a stop to his movements. And now I can change the course of this match. Itagaki! It's like, this changes nothing, says the coach. It's like, when Itagaki took that step forward against his powerful fighter, fighter type, he also took away the momentum and cut open a path towards victory. Can't buck back off now. Have to go forward. It's not something he could have done with just his natural talents. That path would have never appeared before with only cheap words like talent. I have to keep... Moving ahead, says Itagaki. It's like, this path was cut open by courage, and Itagaki is determined to follow this path. It's like, Itagaki raises his gaze upwards and sees that a wrecking ball has appeared before his eyes. He blocks it. It's like, well, oh, Itagaki, he blocks it. Ooh, did he miss? It's like, ah, oh, that was almost enough to knock away his guard. Hitagaki is not gonna back off here. He's like Manabu couldn't. This was that was odd. Rough way of punching for him wasn't 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 that? It's like what a surprise what a spirited punch. Ha! Huh. Now he's coming on all aggressive he's coming on all aggressively. Totally different from our amateur days. Like he's another person. This isn't the Itagaki Manabu that I know. You damn right it's not. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Am I starting to back down? Itagaki's beating him in an infight. He's like, I'm not going to back off. <laughs> Am is like, an infight at close range is my specialty. If I can't stand my ground here, then where else could I ever hope to fight it out? 
It's like, he might fights back, but Itagaki is back on the move. He evades him and dodges again. So he's recovered already? Yes, he have. He barely took the punch. You barely, at least Imai knows that he didn't take, he didn't get a full on hit on him. So it's like, not again. I'm mixing up my he my high and low punches, but hitting nothing. His whole entire body is moving in and out of range at high speeds. But his technique right now isn't what's amazing. It's those eyes. My punches are almost hitting him, but there's no, there's not a hint of fear. Don't you feel any pressure at all? How can your eyes be so alive like that? He's like, hmm, awesome. This is awesome. After I stepped in, Murs, I could finally see it. So this must be the view Makano Uchi Ippo sees. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Damn, how many chapters I'm at right now? Like 15? Why is this fight so long? <laughs> Anyways, but I'm enjoying it, though. So here comes a whole bunch of fists coming at Itagaki. So this must be the view Makano Uchi Ippo sees. To feel the cutting sound that a punch makes as it whistles by your eardrums. Mm -hmm. The pressure. The pressure of the punches singes the, the tips of your hair. And the hardest part of your head collides against that of your opponents. This is the world that Senpai and all other infighters live in. Blood. Was he hit? Who's, who's blood? I didn't. It didn't seem to affect him. He said, I think they got too close and they bumped heads. Itagaki doesn't seem to care too much. Uh, Itagaki is building up the pressure. He's like, he's too fast. Left right combos catch a hold of him. I. Your forehead's covered with blood. The old you would have been unnerved by something like that. Like, hmm. It's like, what's happened? <laughs> That's the bell. Round two is over. There's no change in momentum. As Itagaki holds on to the pace, Imai Kiyosuke remains on the defensive. Six matches, five wins, and one loss. What's happened to you in the pro ring? What's happened to you since you joined the Kamigawa gym? What was it that changed you? It's like, where are you bleeding from? Show us where you're cut. Well... I had dodged the punch, but I couldn't dodge his head, so I kind of just ran into it. It's like his forehead got cut. It's a miracle it's so shallow. There's no need to worry about blood getting in his eyes. Yup, no need to worry. I'm just starting to figure out a trick to infight him. I'll be able to take care of him soon enough. And then not just yet. Enough, be quiet and sit down. Sayetagaki. What an incredible view. The punches pour down just like a rainstorm that never stops and senpai always jumps right into the middle of that scene too absolutely amazing i have even more respect for him now but i've only taken a peek at it seconds out i want to see more of it all right more of the world that makanouchi lives in it's the third round now and itagaki dashes forward the second the bell rings Go, Itagaki, you're in complete control. Beat him. No, don't get too cocky. A decision is fine. Either way, keep things hot in here. Imai absorbs his momentum in the center of the ring, and here comes now the imminent punching match. You weren't able to give any advice. No, it felt like trying to calm down a racing horse who's bucking and all ready to go. I guess this is what they call a boxing high. It's almost frightening. It's almost... It's an almost frightening state of excitement. While dodging, another left hand counter from Itagaki. Will this round turn out to be the same way as the others? It's not like he's lacking in KO wins. He's a boxer who goes in for the kill, so it's not like he dislikes infighting. But fighting at an ultra close range where even their heads collide, I'm certain this is first experiment first experience with it as either an amateur or a pro. In his first venture to that range, not only does he look brave, it looks like he's enjoying himself as well. Something is changing inside of Itagaki. 
something is changing inside of Itagaki. Not bad at all. He's getting even faster. He's throwing sharper punches too. It's going to be impossible to dodge them all. Am I is punching faster? Hit him. Show I'm your guts. Show him your guts, Imai. <laughs> it's like, do I dodge to the side or maybe duck? It connects. And no, it's just not really avoided. What an intense exchange this is. Don't think. There's no time for that at this distance. Don't think. Just hit. It's something that Senpai has always shown. The most important things to have at this distance. And courage. Our courage and in my fight back, get back off. When he lashes out, that will be my chance. Determination. Courage and determination. Okay. Uh, a body blow. And in my delivers an incredibly explosive shot while being hit himself. He's like, he got hit with a bad one. At last, I've got you. <laughs> Alright, so he finally gets a body blow on Itagaki. Oh man, it is powerful too. And a second servant is piled on. He's looking to put a stop to Itagaki's movements. Alright, go, pour it on. He got hit twice. It's all over. Bruh. Is he is that is that punch gonna hit? Whoa, and he fights back. Hitagaki keeps on moving. Looks like it's not over just yet. No way, most people would pass out after taking that. You're right. Take a look at that expression. He's still so lively even after taking those blows. The sensation of being in a close range fight for the first time is changing the very nature of Hitagaki's boxing. Inside of him, with alarming speed, he can probably feel his view of the world changing as we speak he's evolving as we speak he's evolving Manabukun Hitagaki there's nothing I can say that'll help you in this match I just have to believe in you and have failed to win faith you'll win as I watch over you wow they're going at it in the ring man like, whoa check out the blood that sprayed out was it because of that punch no way before that their heads collided my head feel like it's gonna split open but it's all just a part of being in an infight think badly of me if you must but I'm using this to my advantage the hedgehog oh he pulls out the porcupine <laughs> He pulls out the porcupine, a super high-speed barrage. Ah, it doesn't stop. Imai is pressed back. It's not like Imai is losing in a battle of wills, but some of those randomly thrown punches connected with his vitals. They're getting to him. Itagaki continues moving forward with no strength in the left, with no strength left in the leg supporting him. Imai, who takes pride in his ability to take hits and stand firm has finally been backed into the ropes. It's really hurting him eye. You can take him out now. Go, go, Itagaki, go, go. He's not worried about the bleeding, and his eyes are burning beneath that tussle here. What's with all of this intensity? He's a pro. He's become a true professional boxer. It's kind of nice to see Imai actually giving him props you know what I'm saying? Um, you know. So it's like, yeah, it's like, what? But you aren't the only one who's gained some experience inside the pro ring. So he might fights back. It's like, it's a trade off. They exchange blows at the edge of the ring. The wheels of both fighters in this grudge match collide. And a heavy shot. It's repaid in spades. <laughs> They're going back and forth. It's like, he can do it. Yeah, he isn't backing off despite being hit by Imai's power punches. Itagaki, don't let him take away the pace. Hit him. Keep on hitting him. 
again and again. One more time. It's like not done yet. Ah, Itagaki is dominating by sheer number of punches alone. Imai is all defense. He doesn't have an opportunity to return fire. Whoa, he forces his way in and then, boom, fires another body blow while being hit at the same time. <laughs> Both punches became counters and they stopped moving. The first to start again is Itagaki. He's pressed Imai into the ropes with a barrage and he refuses to let go of the pace that he set. And here's the bell. Round three is over. Good show, Itagaki. You're halfway there. You've got the point lead. All you've got to do is keep it up. It's like, how did you like that? Whatever, just sit down. <laughs> You'll need to stop the bleeding. Third round's over. We definitely have the advantage score-wise. But don't let your guard down as we're coming into the last half. Last half, huh? What is it? Did the liver blows get to you? It's like, those liver blows are making me feel like I'm going to puke. <laughs> It's like, quit it with the stupid puns. <laughs> ah, but I wasn't joking at all. I've made it to the halfway point, and there's just one more half left to go. I've got to focus now. All right, keep this rhythm up, and you got it. Keep sticking with it, Itagaki. That last round, how many body blows did he take? I think three. Hmm, what's wrong, Ippo? So three times. I don't know what changed, Manabu. But he's amazing. And he's gained an incredible amount of mental strength appearing before me as a pro. He's coming for me, says Imai. But you aren't the only one who's learned how to fight like a pro. All right, we're going to finish this fight. We're going, we're heading close to being at um to being going to 20 chapters this is crazy you aren't the only one the first half is finally done but there's still a long way to go so just focus this chapter the grudge match continues Hitagaki clearly led in his first half round four but will it stay that way through the final half will it might be able to turn it all around. Let's see. Who will control the second half? Move. I have to move forward on my own. You can't afford to miss a minute of the action. Ah, mm, he seems different from before. I'm not going to stop. Are they going at it again in the middle of the ring? Going in again, at the middle of the ring. Taking this off. Throw enough. And one's bound to hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Keep going for it. Itagaki's amazing, isn't he? His speed hasn't lowered at all. It's true that his hand speed hasn't slowed down. Itagaki, does he have a lot of stamina? I think he's pretty decent. He runs about as much as the rest of us do. And he isn't throwing any less punches. So if anything, he's throwing more punches. His feet have stopped moving. The barrage doesn't cease. Imai is unable to do anything aside from guard. He can't even raise his head up. He probably can't see ahead of him right now. And he tightens up just like a turtle to protect himself. Go, go, Itagaki. Finish him off, man. Fight back, Imai. You ain't getting nowhere by just blocking. He might beat him. He might beat him. Of course he can do it. He can. He... All right. You can do it. Beat him. This crowd is... Okay. <laughs> Itagaki. Itagaki. Itagaki's cheering section is fired up now. Any cheers cause him to shift things into an even higher gear. Imai, fight back. He's taking all the points. No, that's fine. It's fine like this. Okay, um, but it's not all about technique. There's something a lot more crucial than points inside of the pro ring. Right, Imai? Don't rush. Hold on for a bit longer. Just a bit. Here. 
Oh, he missed. He going in for a punch. He blocks it. Well, look like Itagaki got his bell wrong. What a devastating attack. Despite being blocked, he's off balance still. Like, what? He fends off Imai off with a combination. Hitagaki isn't backing down. That was one hell of a shot. <sighs> Hang in there, honey. Manabu, you can do it. That bastard, he threw that while looking downwards. He wasn't even aiming. It doesn't matter where he hits, as long as he's able to hit. Infighters are always too close to see their opponent's entire body anyway. That's why we judge their position based on where their legs are, on whether they're close enough to be hit or not. And if they're within reach, you have to strike as hard as you can. Whether it hits below their head or the shoulder, just as long as it connects, it could turn into a big chance. With any luck at all, you'll hit somewhere critical and they might go down. The mythology of heavy hitter. You can think the method, method the methodology of <laughs> the methodology of a heavy hitter you can't think like that unless you have a lot of power then doesn't that mean you're right that it might is undertaking one hell of a plan giving up on points and betting it all on one shot once again he curls up just like a turtle itagaki keeps on fighting refusing to give up that lead there's one other scary thing. There's Ippo. What's going on with my ear? Anyways, Itagaki's got some guts. He didn't chicken out from the last punch. He stood his ground and he's slugging it out. He isn't really standing his ground right now. He's not used to infighting and it's drained away his stamina. On top of that, he took three body blows. He can't move his legs. Hang on a bit. Build up my strength more, a little more. Just hang on and build it all up a little more. Points don't amount to very much if you're not the last man standing. They don't matter. Oof. The guy is... Itagaki is getting hit even though he's not getting even though he's blocking the punches he's still feeling it it's like Himai's left hook is firmly blocked but in spite of that his lower body trembles and his knees creak it was effective it's like what was that didn't he just block that you could say Himai's utilizing his true strength now he's not letting himself get frustrated by Itagaki's close range attacks and he's no longer trying to outdo him in terms of quantity of punches pure destructive power so he's putting his entire weight into every single shot instead how dangerous the heavy blow grazes him no good it'll be over in one shot if he gets hit now run away <laughs> use your footwork oh my god and he fights back Single shots versus combos. He opposes Imai with numbers. I still haven't been hit. This isn't a tight spot just yet. There's no way that I'm backing off. Did he get hit? He's like, even their missed swings will make your hair stand up on end. Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> Like he didn't back off from Imai's punch and actually went for a counter. I don't know if that's brave or reckless of him. Amazing Itagaki. All right, don't stop. Face him. Head on. Go on and fight and get him. Itagaki won't back down. You can feel his spirit. He's not prepared to give away the momentum in this match. All the points so far are definitely mine. I've been racking them up. And after all, that worked I'm not gonna let you take them back ooh it's a counter and it barely connects am I stopping he might stop moving was it effective against them go now he'll back down now good again it took, I'm really getting tired of the crowd reactions like I'm gonna stop reading them because there's no need like when you're reading is 
like things that take you out of what you're actually reading. Like I don't want to see their their responses. I know I you know what I'm saying I'm a part of the crowd, so I don't need to hear all that. I just need to see what the fighters are thinking right now. Like every break I'm taking to this is your chance. Go with the gaki. Like I, I I'm getting tired of it. Anyways, and there he goes. Itagaki launches another offensive rush. Left, right, left again. Boom. Oh, shit. Itagaki finally got hit really good. They're like, he's finally been hit. He begins to crumble now like a puppet with his strings cut. Whoa. Whoa. And he's been knocked back up from below. Ah, damn, he, he take a good couple of punches there. It's like, ah. Ah, man, Itagaki got hit, man. See what I'm saying, man? I want the crowd to be taking me out of what I'm reading, man. All right, so Imai is going in for the finishing blow, it seems. It's like, Manabukun, he's coming. Put up your guard. So he put up his guard. It's like, he dove right in. Did he take the punch? He's like, why you? Yo, Itagaki is showing some real heart here, man. He's like, he fights back. Incredible. Itagaki's determination is beyond words. He's like, oh, crap. His leg. He's like, but his body tips over. He can't hide, he can't hide the, da the damage done. Whoa, it's no good after all. He's reckless to fight it. Against those damn crowd man use your feet to run away all right so imai goes in again to punch him and misses he's like that's too much he's like he presses on anyway without pause his forward attack continues okay as a pro itagaki has never fought longer than four rounds before and on top of that he's ex unexperienced with infighting as well this must be taking a toll on his stamina and his spirit. He is still duking it out. His footwork's lost to him at this point, but don't give up. He must know he can't dodge all of these punches in this state. What you've come up with isn't wrong. And it hits. And it hits. His punches are as sharp as ever. I'm not done yet. I'm not giving up. I remember when I saw him before. It was strange and nostalgic how he reminded me of myself. His boxing style and his short temper, they're practically the same. It's Miata saying that. It's like. And the lightness of his punches, too. And I know how you must feel all too well. I can't give up after getting hit only once or twice. I've worked so hard all this time to win. I won't let everything I've done so far go to waste. Ten of your own punches are reduced to nothing with one from the other guy. There's nothing more frustrating, nothing more unfair. But overcoming that is part of boxing. Oh, crap. It might hit him with another body blow. I also had to learn that the hard way as well. All of Manabu, all of Manaku, Manabu Kun's work is starting to fall apart. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, damn, his mouthpiece fell off, fell out. He's like, he hangs on. <laughs> He's not falling. Dude, your mouthpiece is on the ground. You get hit in the, hit in the mouth right now. Oof. You probably going to lose some teeth. He hangs on. Despite dropping his mouth, he's still forcefully continuing to punch. Imai doesn't get a chance to follow up, which is right here. The, um, the ref is actually supposed supposed to pause. They're supposed to pause because he can't have freaking mouthpiece. Fucking like they can't have it like that. Like I don't uh, like I know that when a mouthpiece is out in a boxing match, they usually stop and put the mouthpiece back in. So. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I've seen that plenty of times. So it's like, and now we have the bell signaling the end of round four. This fight is way too long. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> there is no need 
for this to be going on for 10 chapters. Like, a literally, like, there's no need. This fight didn't ha did not have to be this long. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest right now. Because this fight doesn't need to be this long. This fight could have ended a long time ago. Hilong gating, um, drawing this fight out just doesn't make sense to me at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to sit here doing this for another hour. Like, this is crazy. So, let's stop here. Come back for another part. This fight has been going on for, for, for too long now. It's been, like, about around 10 chapters or somewhere near there. Like, no fight should be going on this long. It's freaking boxing, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm getting bored or anything like that. It's just... The intensity is is the the intensity of the fight is being is being drawn out to the point where you're kind of getting bored. I've seen the same because they're just duking it out. Who is going to get the upper hand? We need to see that. Like it's time, you know what I'm saying. So, intensity heated battle will have to be resolved even further in the latter half. So now, unless this, they're planning for this fight to go all the way, you know what I'm saying. You know. So, Itagaki won the points that last round, right? Definitely, he connected with more hits and was on the offensive more, too. No doubt about it. Probably a 10-9 in his favor. Okay. He's won all four rounds so far then. The score should be 40-36 to 36 right now. That's a pretty big point spread. Zach, so what's up? What's with the atmosphere? Itagaki's totally winning this thing, but he's taking blows. It almost feels like he's fighting a losing battle. It's just bad luck. And we're going to another chapter. We are at 611, guys. 611. I'm pretty sure I've done 20 chapters by now. So we're still going because I want to finish this fight. So it's just bad luck. What are you talking about? You don't know what will happen until it's over. It's He's been winning so far, hasn't he? Yeah. He did great. All determined and burning for for revenge, he did a real terrific job out there. If the arrangement of the Rookie King tournament had been just a little different, I can't help but feel sorry for him when I think about that. Only the finals for the tourney are six rounds. If he'd fought with Imai anywhere outside of the finals, if he'd had fought him for four rounds, if this was for Jesus, just say what you have to say. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, why are you keep repeating yourself? If this was four rounds, it's so obvious that he would have won. The two guys he fought before this did him in. What kind of karma caused him to end up fighting in my in the finals? There isn't any other way to say it, damn it. He was just unlucky. He would have won? That's true. If it had ended at four rounds, then Manabu Kun would have won by a landslide decision. And his first victory over his longtime rival would be waiting for him. But now, the only things waiting for him from here on out are two rounds of hell. Two rounds left. That's only six minutes to go. But they're going to seem damn near handless for Itagaki right now. After all, his precious footwork is lost to him. So now he's stuck facing all of Imai's power punches head on. Those six minutes will be tough on him. Itagaki must be feeling humiliated right now. His fist can knock Imai down regardless of number. But Imai's can reduce him to nothing in a single shot. And the unfairness of the situations probably making him sick to his stomach. That anger fueled his punches and got him this far. This far, he's likely hit his body's limit by now, so he won't be throwing flurries like that anymore. He'll slowly start to realize he might not win. Imai's punches will also emphasize that, and his spirit will break. The instant that happens, this match will end. He's sweating buckets. Look at him. Those body blows felt like they were going straight through me, I got hit with the worst kind of punch that you could ever receive. It's like the punch I received from Senpai at the first training camp. I hit so terrible, my whole body couldn't stop trembling. I'm winning right now, aren't I? I haven't even been hit all that much, but 
My body feels like it's torn apart. I feel no strength left. But why? Coach calls out to him like Itagaki. Water, drink up, and listen. Listen carefully. I'm going to give you the ultimate words that will get your spirits back up. Do you really have a magical phrase like that? Wow, that's really great. <laughs> it was like, uh, yes, quit stalling. Hurry up and say it. Hurry and say it. It's Gatsu. Itagaki. Gatsuna? Gatsu, Gat, Gatsure, Gatsuna. What does that mean? It's a pun. Oh, <laughs> Hanama PF4 heavy hit. So more or less, hit him with your guts. Okay, so that that's what it means. Hit him with your guts, basically. So it's like at a time like this, he's making puns. <laughs> it's like seconds out. Okay. Did it not do the trick? It's like I'll survive. She noticed that. All right, then let's go. Gatsune guns Gatsune. Gatsuna, I don't know what that, I know, like, they say what it means, but, like, hit him with your guts, basically. So now, the crowd can hear you. Numbers aren't going to matter against your power. Build them up one by one, and then let, and then let loose. You've still got six more minutes left in this match. You only need one. Just build it up and then fire away. Round five. Imai heatedly kicks off of the canvas. He heads forward. And Itagaki, he does not move, or is it that, that he cannot move? I can't even move forward to think I was knocked around this badly. Madabukun. A thunderous attack. But Itagaki has his combinations. He'll try to stop Imai with superior numbers. It's Imai following up instead. Imai doesn't stop. Imai is the one winning out when it comes to speed at this point. Imai does seem to have gotten faster. But it's really Itagaki that... Oh, uh, he's against the ropes in an instant. Itagaki seems to be slowing down. Itagaki is slow down. You can see it clear as day. He can't move. Go get him and finish him. There's only two rounds left. Hang in there, Manabukun. Keep focus, Itagaki. Just use your guts to hang in there. Imai continues to close in on him against the ropes. Itagaki's in trouble at the very start of round five. This must have been hella frustrating for the people who was who was um who was reading this back in the day. Because this fight is unnecessarily long. I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to stop saying it. I'm going to complain about this. This fight is unnecessary, unnecessarily long. I'm not going to lie because it, it just is. I'm just saying like, okay, even if you're going to say, let them go the length of the fight, which is six rounds. It could have been done. It could have been done by now. It, it must have been hell to be waiting on this manga. Like, what is it? What was it? Every week? I think this was week. This was a weekly manga. You guys can let me know if this was weekly or, or monthly. You, can, you guys can let me know. It rips upward. It leans back on the ropes and creates a place to escape. But there's a right follow-up. He's got nowhere to run now. He's like a rat in a cage. Ooh. Is he going to hit the... Oh, he, he held on to the ropes. And he escapes down below. Ooh, dude is coming with the punch. He's like, ah, it's a downward shot. Was that enough for a down? He didn't touch the ground. He didn't touch the ground. No, he just barely avoided it. So he spun his head to lower the damage done. Shinoda Kun's words were effective. The precise use of his upper body is creative, is creative dodging. He can do those things because those words relaxed him. What a high level of display of offense and defense. A good show from both the relentless attacker and the resolute defender. 
You have a frightening amount of talent. Once you go completely on the defensive, it's hard to imagine ever hitting you. But I will finish you. I will not be stopped here. I'm not like you. What I'm looking for is different. He, he my misses again. It's like a left body blow. I can't let this one hit me. He hooked the rope to get me. Are you kidding me? I have become a professional too. A liver blow again. Oof. And it penetrates to the core. Itagaki has been struck down. He took it. He finally, he, we finally got him. An explosive hits our swarm in Itagaki. If his guard were to open up now, the match would surely be over in an instant. He isn't even trying to get away from the ropes. It's no good. Forget his legs. He can't even move his body anymore. He's got to make him miss somehow. Imai's punches are still effective even on top top even on top of blocks. He'll get beaten if he keeps up that guard. You really can't be serious about that. In his condition, it would hurt even tr heat it, it would even it would hurt to even try and raise his arms. <laughs> hate when I'm trying to read something and I'm not getting it. Manabu Kun, he's finally out of options now. Be it now or in the next minute, it's only a matter of time either way. Only his spirit breaks. And even if you happen to beat me, what would you do then? What would you be looking forward to afterwards? I want to test my strength. That's why I chose a different gym from Makano Uchi Ippo. I've always been aiming for the belt, always been after Makano Uchi Ippo. You chose to attach yourself to Makano Uchi instead. You gave up your chance to fight him. Despite having more talent, you're still going to lose because you chose the Kamigawa gem. And he lays into him a hit. Is he going to go down? I don't know because it's a direct hit from the cannon. Hitagaki is blown into the corner. I've always aimed for the top. There's no one I'd ever lose to someone who isn't aiming higher. The very second that you chose to join the Kamigawa gym was when your loss to me was assured. His knees buckled, but will he fall? It's no good. He's going to fall. He's still conscious. He can still move. But that blow was more than enough to crush his spirit. He won't be able to stand for much longer. Itagaki, stay conscious. If you pass out, it's all over. Look ahead of you. When I can't move. When I can't move? <laughs> it's like. It's like, what good will it do to look ahead now when I can't move? Huh? So you can still move. And all right. Itagaki's entire body is slammed into the corner. I can't just keep blocking. I might end up getting knocked out anyway. But it's not like I can dodge them all. What can I do? What should I do? Your guts, Itagaki. Show him your guts. Now a left. Imai is beating this dude to a pulp right now. And he won't try. He can't do anything. He's cornered. It plows through the guard and Itagaki's head flies skyward. Was that the decisive blow? It's over. It's impossible. That's right. All of them, the tougher things got the, the tougher things got, the harder they all fought back. It's like that's right, my guts, got so they, got son, got son nah. Like he's fighting back. Blocking does me no good. I can't dodge him anymore, so all of my defense is shot. But I can still move my arms. Don't back off now. If you can't defend, attack him. And he follows it up. It seems he still has some strength left. It's surprising. His spirit wasn't broken. And he actually fighting back. Is he serious? He's tightening his fist and trying to go blow for blow. He knows he can't throw combinations anymore at this point. With the energy he has left, this is all he's able to do. Don't back off. Hit him. You're really amazing, Manabu. But that's it. I'm the one that keeps on looking ahead. He hits him again. So I'm the one that will win this. Let's keep going. 
I thought I'm not stopping until the end of this. So I don't know how many chapters I've done so far. I know I'm in the 20s. I'm the one that will win this. Can't wimp out now. Have to hit him. It's the results for the best fight poll. Which bouts were the best of the best? Announcing the results. What's this about? Okay, so back to the fight. Hitagaki taking a beating. But he's punching back. Aha. They're slugging it out. It's become an exchange of punches. Hitagaki abandons combination, abandons all strategy, and he retaliates with power punches. They've committed themselves to finishing this with a single shot. Itagaki will make it through this round. Get ready to say something to fire him up again. <laughs> what is it? But I'm all out of material. <laughs> We're counting on you then, Yagi-chan. Yes, please. What? How can I come up with a pun at a tense moment like this? Itagaki doesn't fall. He grits his teeth and hangs in there and fights back. But he's hit with a brutal right. Nider backs off. Nider Boxer is backing off. They both, it's a double hit. But he takes the bigger punch. <laughs> oh my god, whoa. Imai's power advantage is clear. Blood flies freely. Will he be able to finish him off? Itagaki, everybody's worried about Itagaki. The difference in power was very clear. That much was obvious. Back then, I really did hand him his death sentence. Isn't there anything? Isn't there anything I can do? He twists all the way and throws a full body attack. Oh! Simultaneous shots. And there goes the bell. In my fearsome destructive strength. Hitagaki's frightening resilience. We finally reached the last round in this battle of wills. They're like, look out. <laughs> He caught him before he fell. It's like, water. Get me water. He's built, He's beat all to hell. If he wasn't so close to the blue corner, he wouldn't have made, he wouldn't have made it back on his own. Is there any hope for him at this, at all now? What do you think, Ippo? How was that? My time in with the chair was pretty nice, wasn't it? That's your encouraging words, bro. <laughs> this... <laughs> This is so nice. <laughs> In other words, the chair is nice. Oh my god, this is so nice. -o. Yagi san, this isn't the time for insane remarks like that one. <laughs> if you have time to make stupid jokes, then do your job. It's like, how is this bleeding? Should I call for the doctor? It's like, the blood will stop. However, he's unconscious. Wow. Hitagaki, hey, can you see me? Can you understand me? I'm afraid he's unable to continue. Any more is dangerous. I'm going to end the match. It's like, please, please wait. We've got the point advantage. I'm really sorry. But someone, Itagaki, answer me. Do you really want it to end here? Open your eyes and wake up. Then it's all over now. The match will be stopped. Someone, please do something. Ippo goes down there. Oh, cool. Marabukun, he's like, Senpai. Okay, so Ippo was able to wake him up. He's like, Senpai. Brat. He's like, Senpai. Itagaki, don't move. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of feedback there. Uh, new chapter. I don't know how long the feedback has been on, but sorry, guys. <laughs> um, so we're back. All right. Senpai, Itagaki, don't move. He was unconscious, but he responded to Ippokun's words. Manabukun, you look so worn out. You did well. You did well to keep standing. You did well to keep fighting. Didn't I come here to say something? Tell him to keep going. Impossible. I can't tell him to go on after seeing his condition. But, but. All right. 
He gets up. He's like, Itagaki, are you okay, Itagaki? Can you still fight? It's unfortunate, but Manabukun, after trading blows with him, I know Kisuke is strong. He's stronger than me. It's not about winning or losing anymore. I'll keep fighting till the end. I'll stay standing until the end. I'll fight. In front of that person, I don't want to be seen giving up on this match. If I decide it's too dangerous, it'll stop. I'll stop it immediately. Right. This is the end. Put your all into these last three minutes. Makarauchi. You appeared at ringside in order to encourage Manabu, but it's going to have the opposite effect. Because right now, at this moment, my motivation is at its highest. I've been able to reaffirm my goal. Champion, I have always been watching you. I'll be coming over there soon to shove this fist down that guy's throat. Seconds out. All right, last round. Now, uh, whether it will be tears or laughter, it's all in these three minutes. Itagaki was leading up until the middle. After exchanging blows, Imai takes the lead at the last minute. This faded, this faded confrontation has finally stepped into the last round. Will it end in a KO or will there be a decision? In any case, the winner of this match will doubtless be the MVP of the East Japan Rookie Kings Tournament. In the midst of great cheers, the two combatants touch gloves in the middle of the ring. Itagaki, you've come this far. This far. Win! Take the Rookie Championship. Your opponent is staggering. Kick his ass, Imai. Your KO is right before you. Itagaki. Imai. Imai, he'll defeat him for sure. So now they're not shouting for Itagaki anymore. They gone over to Imai. I can't follow this crowd, man. Just a little more hang in there. Manabukun. Okay, so they're cheering for them. They touch gloves in the middle of the ring. And here we go. Itagaki gets the first punch. Itagaki goes first. The left overhand. He can still fight. It's like, no, it's just a temporary revival. Because of Makanouchi's um, son's encouragement. Attack him. This is the only round left. You must be dying by now. I'll soon make you remember the pain. He's like an agonizing body blow. He puts his remaining power into the blow. Itagaki backs up. He's like, he's collapsing. That must hurt. Is it over? Show some spirit, brother. Hit him back. Nanakok Chan. She's amazing. <laughs> ah, he won't fall. He stamps hard on the canvas and writes himself. A follow-up attack. Can he survive? He threw a punch. Itagaki doesn't move to protect himself. Is he ready to go down in flames? Imai is hurt too. What a blood-soaked slugfest. The difference between Imai and Itagaki. It was a collision that caused bursts of blood to shoot forth. The battle for the East Japan Rookie King title has turned into a death match. This guy is amazing. I don't even care about winning or losing anymore. Until the end, I'm going to stay standing until the very end and fight. It's a battle of wills between these two rivals and things are getting even more heated up in this final round. They both taking punches. There's a difference in what you and I are looking for, says Imai. Okay. Ah, I want to test my strength. I want to fight a powerful champion. What we're looking for towards looking towards is different. And that difference will decide our match. So this is I'm coming for you, champion. Imai steps in and punch. This is that difference. Ah, he hit the canvas. God damn it. Oh, Itagaki got knocked down. He's like, he's down. Itagaki's will has finally been shattered by Imai's powerful blows. Itagaki is down, and it's the first down in this entire match. That my son, he's Manabu. The count begins. Will he be able to stand, or will this turn into a KO loss? Manabu-kun, can you hear me at all? Manabu-kun, amazing. 
I felt it from the very first time we sparred that I might end up fighting against them someday. That day might be coming sooner than I thought. Manabukun, I promise you. I promise you, I'll... There's a big difference, all right. But I want to fight a powerful champion. That's why I joined a different gym than Makanauchi Ippo. You chose to cling to Manauchi. That's right, but clinging to him, clinging to all of them, do you have any idea what I have learned since I've joined the Kamagawa gym? All I've ever seen is what true pros look like. And being there, Kohai, is something that I'm proud of. There's no way I'm going to look bad in front of them. He stands up. The display of determination stuns the whole entire arena. Next chapter. The explosive strikes that aim to finish this and the determination that doesn't give up. In the final round, both our competitors are putting on a dramatic display. Manabukun, no way, it's impossible for him to continue. He's hurt pretty badly. What should I do? He's checking. The referee is checking with him. Hitagaki, heads up now. Try walking towards me. I'm still good to go. I just can't walk. And the battle resumes again. Box! The death match isn't over yet. That's my boy. Come on, Manabu. How much time's left? We've just got... There's still a full minute left. You've got plenty of time. I'm putting an end to this rivalry of ours. I'll be going on ahead of you, Manabu. What we're looking at is different, huh? Well, if you ask me, it's what we've seen that's different. Only one minute remains. Imai Kyusuke launches his final attack. Knock his ass down. Let up on him now. Beat him, Imai. You're almost the rookie king. One attacks, the other defends. The faded opponents are both running their final course. Hang in there, Itagaki. Keep up your guard. Don't let him knock you out. Don't let all the points you worked so hard for go to waste. A thunderous blow, but it meets a steely block. Am I totally shut out? Not yet. He, he piles it on regardless. Neither has a strategy anymore. It's all come down to a battle of wills. Only 40 seconds left on the clock. Ooh, whoa, Itagaki's legs are starting to dip. Those blows are affecting him despite the tight guard. Not yet. Takamura-san could easily withstand something like this. Ooh, he's channeling, he's channeling, he's channeling, channeling his, his inner buddies right now, <laughs> you know? Gah, he's like... And Kimura-san, he could take it too. Mm, and Aoki-san too. Whoa. Damn, that was close. I'd better forget about him for now. <laughs> Only seconds until the bell. How will it end? 35 seconds and we're going to another chapter. Oh my god. The end of this match is rapidly approaching. Will Itagaki Manabu survive this? Can Imai Kyusuke finish him off? That was a close one. And a left barely misses connecting. I didn't miss. He actually managed to dodge it somehow. But where? Don't swing so wide. Keep it compact. All you gotta do is hit him once. Actually, it isn't that simple. He's been getting hit by Itagaki since round one. Imai's hurting too. He's barely hanging in there right now. Only 30 seconds to go in this match. Imai appears to be in a hurry as he's swinging wildly. Where could he possibly have hidden all this strength? What could be what could be supporting him right now? Don't you say that Itagaki spirit would break. So how's that? Who looks like they're about to snap in there? He might not amount to very much, but he still spent a lot of time with us and trained by our sides and none of us have ever shown him how to give up or give in we've never taught him how don't you underestimate underestimate the kamigawa bloodline as long as he's still conscious he'll keep fighting i'll have to make sure i keep that in mind next time i fight someone from the kamigawa gym hmm 
it's exactly the same. He looks exactly the same way you looked during your Rookie King match. Manabu Kun. It's sweating, man. The time I've spent at the gym with all those people is personified by my pride. If you want to knock me down, you'd better be ready to knock down my pride too. You talk your shit, boy. You talk your shit. 20 seconds left. It's the final stretch now. How will the match end? Why the hell am I hesitating against someone who can't even fight back? Hit him. Beat him down with just a single shot. A left. A crap. Crap. A faint. A punch finally connects. And Itagaki begins to crumble. Manabu-kun. Itagaki. We got him. This can't go on. Don't stop me. I'm going to end this with my fist. Think. Think. If it were him, what would Senpai do? Another chapter. Ah. It's, it's frustrating and very enjoyable at the same time because a lot of time that they spend, this buildup is, is, to me, it better have a good, and it's, it's, all it's climbing to is a decision. <laughs> it's frustrating, man. He blows past the referee and just like that, a left. Remember, at a time like this, if it were Senpai, if it were Makanouchi Hippo, okay, he'd fight. He'd fight. Ooh, he coming with the porcupine now? Ooh. He's just thrown everything he had left. Move. All I need is one punch. It's all over, Senpai. I've got nothing left. Reach him. The clock. The clock. I can't move. I can't reach him. Slip. Is he on the mat? Ah. Okay, so the clock hits zero. There's the gong. The match is over. The result of this death match is up to the judges. The faded showdown, neither boxer could find it with his fist. Water, bring water. It's ours, Imai. You've won. Now, what will the decision be? I think Itagaki won. In my opinion, I think he won. I mean, except for that one knockdown, you lose a point for the knockdown, but I don't think that affected him because he was like, he was like four points ahead. So if you, he might win by a point. If I'm, like, to me, he won by a point. Itagaki led in the first half. Will he win it all? I wonder which it'll be. This will be a close one. Or will Imai's knockdown and near KO give him the victory? We can't stay here. Let's get closer and hear it. My son, my brother will win. Are you okay, Manabukun? Answer me. Manabukun, don't make him talk, brat. But... He can't even stand under his own power. If you compare their conditions at the end of the match, anyone can tell who should win. And we even got a down. Imai will win. The point totals appear to have been added up. The entire hall holds his breath. The results will be announced in a moment. Manabu Kun, Itagaki, sit down. I'll tell you what the results are, so rest now. I don't need to rest. It's not about winning or losing. I did my best, so I want to hear my own results with my own two ears. Manabuka, no matter the result, I'll accept it. Am I? We will now announce the results, and we have to go to a new chapter to announce the results. Oh my god. We will now announce the results of the scoring. Judge Uchida scores it 57 to 56. Judge Morita scores it 57 to 57. A split decision and one was a draw. What will the last judge say? What was the difference? While it's certainly true that Manabu has definitely gotten stronger, I've grown as well. So the gap between our levels of strength shouldn't have changed much from the old days. Referee Shim 
Shimagawa scores it 57 to 56. Ooh, there you have it, folks. Two of the judges have sided with one of these two men. This will not end in a draw. 2 and 0. Oh. Who wins it? Who the fuck won? Shut your traps. <laughs> and the victor of this match. What was the difference? What's changed? Ah, uh, since we become pros, what's changed between Manabu and I? The winner is the blue corner. Itagaki. Itagaki wins. Yes. Uh, with a single point making the difference, Itagaki Manabu has come out on top in this duel. As I said before, that he should win by a point based on what I know of how judges should score. He won the first four rounds of the match. He won the first four rounds of the match. So that's why I said he should win by a point because he lost a point, meaning he lost a he, he lost he basically he he lost a point for the knockdown, so that's two he lost because he was ahead by four, right? He was ahead he was ahead by four, you know, with the round scoring 10-9, 10-9, and it was like it was forty to thirty six. If you guys remember that when we read that forty to thirty six six, he lost two, so he lost two, so it might caught up by two, right? So he was on he was on down by two. He lost around five two. In my opinion, he lost round five, so that's another point he lost again, right? In the last round, he did not win round six either, so that's what I'm saying. So in, he lost in round five, which was, I think, the round he got knocked down in, or was it round six? I don't remember which, what round, but that's why I scored it for him to win by one point. Um, I was thinking maybe a draw, but... I was more leaning towards him winning by one. So he's paid him back for their amateur days. He succeeded and is crowded. The East Japan rookie king, Senpai. Okay, so our boy Itagaki wins. He really, you really did it, man. We're proud to have such a great Kuha. Kuhai. Calm the hell down. Getting carried away part of the Kamagoe bloodline, too. That's dangerous. Put him down. I can't be here to watch you idiots. I see. So that was it. I get it now. So the difference was in our environments. You were surrounded and also influenced by these true pros. Then maybe your victory was already decided. The moment you joined the Kamigawa gym. you damn right. <laughs> Whoa. He just fainted. <laughs> That's not good at all. Quick, someone get the stretcher. <laughs> Think it might be something serious? Um, Guess I'm off to the locker room. Jeez, weak guys are trouble even when the match is over. Uh, One more thing. What do you think about all this? You were comparing him to the old you, weren't you? What, you've hap what could have happened if you had fought Ippo? Did you get an answer for that question? <coughs> oh! Sorry about that. If we had fought, I can think on it as much as I like, but it changes nothing. In the end, I won't have an answer until I fight him again. Up next, the Junior Lightweight East Japan Rookie King Finals. The ambulance is here now. Keep his head stable as you carry him. Family members may accompany him. Ambulance looks pretty bad out there. He was saying his head hurt and he did take a lot of hits. Is he even able to walk on his own? His Achilles, his Achilles was hurt when he stomped to avoid a down, and his left fist is broken. He's injured so badly he can, he can hardly stand. Man sure is tough being a small fry. At least congratulate him. Senpai. He's like, don't talk. I'll hear you out later. So for now, I have to thank you. I won because of you. It's fine, don't talk right now. Because you came down to ringside and said what you did. But I didn't say anything. I couldn't say anything. It's like, thank you so much, senpai. Back then, I... I could hear you clearly. And your words gave me strength. Don't give up. 
cool. Don't give up, huh? Cruel advice to give the walking dead, you monster. But well, for someone that barely won by decision, he seemed pretty satisfied with himself. We will begin the award ceremony now. The Fighting Spirit Award goes to the Bantamweight. Next, the award for technique. We just received word for Shinoda Kun at the hospital. How is he? Looks like he's gonna be fine. I'll be relieved, really. Because you said what you did, huh? So we got the message without you opening your mouth. That's one hell of a bond you have there. Itagaki-kun really does seem to think of you as the ideal senpai. He's like, no way. So how about it? How does it feel to have a kohai like him then? And now the award for most valuable fighter in the featherweight class, Itagaki Manabu. I'm really proud of him. That's all he ever wanted. And finally, <laughs> finally, we are going to end this read through. I'm pretty sure that was like a two hour or two and a half hour read through. That was crazy. And I plan to do Berserk today too. I'm going to take a long ass break and then I have to go do Berserk. I don't even know. I might leave Berserk and do it tomorrow because, I mean, after doing this, after talking for this much, I need to rest my throat, man. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go do the review. Make sure when, when the review comes out on YouTube for all you Patreon people, make sure you go ahead and check it out on YouTube. But I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for checking this out. All right. This has got to be the longest read-through I've ever done in the history since I've started to do read-throughs. It's got to be the longest one because this is crazy. This is crazy. It's a good one. It was a good one, but I think they dragged it out too much. I can imagine the people who were reading this back in the day um, when, when this was actually current and was, well, it's still current because it's still ongoing, but the people who, I mean... It's ridiculous, man. I'm pretty sure this is a weekly manga. But you guys can let me know if I'm wrong. It must have been so frustrating watching this for literally about two months straight and getting to, to, to the end of this fight. I think, he, I think the author could have wrapped this up a lot sooner. Even though you were planning to make this fight go the distance, I really do think that it was an incredible fight don't get me wrong but i do believe that he could have condensed it more he used the like the crowd was too much you get what i'm saying the crowd reactions were too much i think that took away from from actually us focusing on the fight a bit you know what i'm saying i know you need that because you want to you know you got to set the atmosphere or whatever but at the same time it kind of took away a, a um from how speedily you could have finished the um this fight but i enjoyed it very much it showed itagaki's heart he finally overcome a huge obstacle that was there you know his guts i didn't think he had that in him i'm gonna be honest i didn't think that he had that in him. i'm not gonna do a long review <laughs> because i've been talking for the last two and a half hours you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to be doing a long review, of course. Um, but I do want to give my thoughts on this because it's necessary. I'm looking forward to see. I don't, we don't have no inclination of who's going to fight next. Um, but, but this fight, man, it was a good one. In my really showed some heart to respect to him. Um, but this was all Itagaki. You know what I'm saying? It was all him. He did his thing. He, he, went in for the in fight and held his own i thought you know he would have got destroyed but he held his own um went blow for blow with an in fighter for a guy that don't have powerful punches and go blow for blow with it with an in fighter of course he can't do that with ippo because because am i out here thinking he, he punches hard you know what i'm saying <laughs> he out here thinking he punch hard man <laughs> bruh you don't punch hard. <laughs> you, you, compared to Ippo, you're you're still not you're not there. You know what I'm saying? Like you you may punch hard, but but you know what I'm saying? 
Ippo is out here folding dudes, like folding them. You know what I'm saying? So you're not there yet when it comes down to power punches. So you're you're not ready for Ippo. I tell you that much. You are not ready for Ippo. Um, this was a great fight. I think it dragged on for too many chapters. Um, that's the only thing that I had about it that I would say is a negative for me. You know what I'm saying? Everything else was fine. Um, I think I think the um, I think over the amount of chapters that it went on for was the only thing that I didn't like about it. You know what I mean? So um, so yeah, it was a great fight. Looking forward to the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm pretty sure you guys probably got annoyed just like me. You know what I'm saying? But if you didn't get annoyed, you know what I'm saying? There's no way like I was going to make my annoyance known. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to because it was really, it was really like, again, more chapters. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So definitely looking forward to more of, to more of Ippo manga. I'm not going to stop reading it because they drag this fight out you know what i'm saying um but i'm definitely looking forward for more so thank you guys so much for tuning in man as always somebody was suggesting i stop doing read-throughs i'm like are you kidding me i enjoy doing this so much i have to do them like for me just for me i couldn't just stop doing manga read-throughs just i can't stop doing that now you get what i'm saying even if it would help the channel i wouldn't stop doing it you get what I'm saying? Because I'm invested that much into the read-throughs now. I can't just stop in the middle of doing them right now. Um, I'm enjoying Berserk and Ippo too much to just stop in the middle. I know it's just a suggestion, you know, but I, I couldn't do that. So, plus there's like 200 people that watches them. And you know what I'm saying? Like me just doing that would not be cool. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, make sure you leave a like if you're watching this on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new. Boy, Terabyte Reacts. Peace.